Um. Yes, Botox almost died. dead. Almost dead. Yep. Almost everybody dead. Yep. We talk about it. I was fine on that roof. I'm not, no one really bothered me. I picked people off. You know, I, I did a take take with another any damage? Uh, no. You were I, the I, only one that didn't almost die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Like, I, remember, I remember almost dying and running to Molo, be like, Molo, help. And be like, nah, you got this, buddy. And just ignored my plea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I knew all he had to do was like firebolt the guy chasing me or something, just to like give me a break. He's like, nah, you got this, bud. Attack <laughs> somebody else. See, he I gave you the power of belief. <laughs> I was hey. I knew there was healing in the wizard's ring, so I had to keep her alive. So uh, that's fair. Yeah. I best best bud, I killed the motherfucker with another motherfucker trying to get to you. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> that was pretty epic. Yeah. Uh, I hid great. I hid me and Vaughn under pieces of wood on a roof, and apparently that's not a great hiding spot. No, it's under one piece adequate, of wood. It's a perfectly <laughs> adequate hiding spot until you start casting spells out. <laughs> Why is that piece of wood casting spells? Ah, break it. So like she was shouting the spells. And Vaughn wasn't good at them. I mean, have you seen your character? I think that's something you would probably do. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Somebody is not in game yet. It is, it is me. Ah, yes, it's Lacker. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm late today. Down. Yes, we we fought a bunch of. We went back to the bully woods to see why they, what was up with them, and they were getting attacked, and it turned out to be Sohuagan and sharks. Who can? Who for some reason can only hurt our. <laughs> Yeah, it's that level three. Is not there. Oh, uh, I thought I had your token out here, Aragunas, but apparently not. It says I have no vision, so I don't know when I uh, went in. Boop, there you are. Okay, there you are. Thanks for oh, yeah. showing up, Aragunas. <laughs> and Sorry. As, you, as you all come out of your long rest, you can see Botox swimming around with the Bodies of many dead Sohagen that he killed while you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Do we use just... Aragunas while we we're no. dying? Nope. I no. feel like that fight would have been a little easier if we had Aragunas. Yeah, in retrospect, I did not alter it to adjust for missing a party member, so oh. that's probably yeah. why it was a little more difficult than... He's going to show up and be like... Insight into Sohagen. He's going to show up with one of the bollywogs and just be like, oh, sorry, we just got a bit busy. We heard some noises. We figured everyone else was also getting busy and I was missing out on some of the fun. But it looks like I had way more fun than you guys. Um, ah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, we were just up here. I was picking them off. I got a nice so Hagen Slayer right, right, right by my side. It's a tie-dye so Hagen Slayer. Oh! Uh, um, he's gonna look around the battlefield and be like, well, okay, so I have good news and bad news. So the good news is, I guess these guys are dead. The bad news is, I have a lot of experience with these things, and I can tell you that this is like, you know, like the avant-garde, um, their commander is probably somewhere else. So... I mean, nobody got truly hurt, right? So we should just like go straight away to find the commander and just mm. kill them. Mm -hmm. I'm really well rested. I don't know no, about you guys. No, stop it. Uh, the uh, end of the last session was everyone collapsing into a pile to take a long rest. So. <laughs> Did we actually take Thanks. a long rest, or was this like in progress? Uh, and, yes, and yeah. we leveled up. Yeah, you leveled oh, up. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I forgot. So. Back to the man pile. Level three. Back to the pile. Field fuck. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is really gay. Even more gay than the pile. <laughs> Back to the pile. Uh, okay. Uh, so at this point, you guys are finishing your long rest. Um, Reyna... It has been two long rests since you guys have been back, and you have been charged with maintaining the lighthouse. Yeah, she's just gonna, like, wake up as soon as she's, like, got enough sleep to, like, consider a long rest and just be like, oh my god, the lighthouse! And, like, sit straight up, like, oh shit. 
be like, uh, guys, we need to, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Kenzie's literally going to kill me for real this time. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. I got to go. Yeah. What's the worst she can do to you? I mean, she's just all, she's just like a kitty cat. She's like Cliff, right? You know, she's like always just trying to explain how vaginas work. Uh, Raina, thinking back, <laughs> Casey has never once explained how vaginas work to you. Well, it's too early in the morning. For it's never too early in the morning. Uh, the uh, ah, the Bullywug chieftain approaches you and starts talking in Bullywug language, which I don't think any of you speak. Uh, nope. The the tongue spell has definitely worn off at this point, and mm -hmm. so he is going. <laughs> Aragudi, if you're going to be like, okay, well, round two tonight, you just follow me home, okay? Just, I'm really tired now, so. He presents you with a bowl of, like, dead bugs and uh, some stuff if you guys are hungry. Aragunis will eat it. He looks pretty you're happy welcome. that you it. Uh, are you guys heading back to town? Reyna is all but sprinting back to okay. town. <laughs> Reyna is leaving you guys in the dust unless you guys go with. Yeah, oh, go I guess we're gonna go and be like, go anyone else? Them. Anyone else want some of these bugs? It's really too much bug for me, but you. <laughs> <laughs> That's we're all you, throw some at Botox. <laughs> Okay. Um. So let's get you guys back to town. Um. Raina, or I guess whoever uh, is leading the group, go ahead and roll me a survival check at advantage. Well, I like to think that Raina is like sprinting as fast as she can and is still like behind the group. <laughs> yeah, once Crixus starts running, he is definitely going to outpace all of you pretty easily. <laughs> Crixus is at a light jog. <laughs> Rotten. Just chilling. Um, yep. Botox will uh, be pulling you through the water if you want, Reyna. Um, but yeah, somebody give me a survival check at advantage. Okay, Reyna gives me the survival check at 15. Okay, yeah, you're able to find your way back pretty easily. You guys have been back and forth a few times. It's not terribly difficult for you at this point. Um, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da, Respite City. Where are all your tokens? Of course, What's I have Oh, that's right. She gave me a foul in the rain. Okay. Uh, so you guys make it back to town. Uh, as you guys come into town, uh, you notice that the lighthouse is dark. Oh, God! Printing. Uh, you start running through town. Uh, the main entrance into town is to the north. Uh, as you come into town, you pass by several guards that are like, uh, didn't didn't Casey leave you in charge of the lighthouse? It's it's gone out. This is a big problem. Yes, I am aware. Okay. It's okay. It's daytime. We the, everything can see just fine. It's daytime. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Um, not always the case. I mean, we're oh. li we're living in the now, not in the past, not in the future. So daylight now, daylight no problem. I'm going to put you guys on the lighthouse map. Uh, We've been very busy. We have shit to do. Uh, not just your fucking lighthouse. You come up to the lighthouse door. Um, Reyna, did you lock the door on your way out? Uh, well, Kenzie would have left. Oh, that's true. She, she left, left after you. So, yeah, uh, yeah she, she definitely... Probably would have locked it. She yeah. probably would have locked it, yes. Okay. Uh, Raina, you do have a key to the lighthouse. Where do you keep your keys? Uh, probably because it's like, you know, she has the key, this very important key to her thing. So I would think she'd like keep it on like a chain, like around her neck, like, like okay. where she absolutely could not lose it. Okay. So in that case, yeah, you are able to open the door. No problem. Door is unlocked. Sprint inside. I, I take my shoes off. Good idea. 
I'll take mine off as well. Honey, we're home. Uh, you are greeted with silence. Can I start booking it up Story to the my, take my shoes off? Can I book it up to the second level to get to the little stone? Uh, yeah, can you guys, are you going to stop and grab the uh, spell scroll she left for you? Uh, oh, yeah, did I leave it or did I throw it in? Yeah, yeah, uh, if I left it on my little desk, I will, I will pick that up. Okay, you run over to Casey's desk where you see the stack of spell scrolls. Uh, next to the desk on a little podium is a very intricate uh, red leather book with uh, some very tasteful gold designs over it. Uh, you recognize this as... Well, actually, give me a investigation check, just a real quick one. Sure. Investigation. He's going to kill you. So many oh, times. yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm opening that book. <laughs> Uh, 24. This looks like it might be Casey's spell book. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Does does she look now? Or... Mm. Nope. Take it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm going... To... Yeah, can I... Um... Lighthouse Ooh, is still yeah. dark. Yeah, I'm going to light the lighthouse first. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna grab this oh, and I'm gonna try to not like indicate that I like noticed it because I don't want any of these other gay who's to grab it. Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like stare at it for like half a second and just be like, be back, and then grab the scroll and then run up the stairs. Okay. Follow me, guy. Don't look over there. Follow me. Make it really is about to be the BBG. <laughs> uh, deception. That's that's something I'm 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 good at. No, not at all. Oh, hey, oh, I'm good. Nineteen. All right. All right. Uh, so nobody inherently just notices unless they're like watching you for something like that. Um, okay, you run up the stairs. Mm-hmm. Sprinting up the stairs. Sprinting up the stairs. There's a stitch in my side. I can't breathe. I mean, really, Whoa. I should have had you be making athletics checks, but... Oh, God. I broke my ankle on the way in. I can't breathe. Uh, okay, you approach the crystal. You sift through the spells that uh, Casey has written on her uh, sheets. Are you looking for a particular level of spell? Uh... What is the, yeah, what is the highest level spell there is? The highest level spell that she left for you was a sixth level spell. Mm. Mm. Okay. And if I try to cast that, I got to make a. You will have yeah. to make a, a, a check, yeah. Okay, to not uh, explode myself. Yep, an arcana okay. check. <laughs> what uh, is, uh, what's the second? The, she gave me Bigby's hand, right? That's a fifth level. Can I? Yep that one instead of that sixth level one. Okay. Uh, so you'll still have to make a check since you can't cast uh, fifth level spells yet. Um, yeah, not. So you're going to make an arcana check and the DC is going to be 10 plus the spell level. So DC 15 arcana. Oh boy. Or you blow up. Or something <laughs> yeah. bad might happen to you. <laughs> is, is my cleric friend who sometimes helps people around? I mean, she's downstairs. <laughs> Yeah. Do you call, do you call me up? Be, is, that, is this like a fireplace? I assume we're just all hanging out around the fireplace. I mean, it makes yeah, sense. You certainly can. You also uh, do have a just bar that, out outside. Yeah. Has a oh. bar that could sing a song, but I don't know. You need help. No. Yeah, need, no. I, help up there? She's, <laughs> no, she's, she believes too much about herself to ask for help, probably, because she's an may arrogant the, may, wizard. So. May the dice gods be with you. Pretty much. All right, here we go. Here comes Arcana. Oh, this is going to be bad for me. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be bad for me. Oh, no. Well, oh, right. no. I mean, it shouldn't so, be that exploding bad. Two yeah. things are going to happen. Two good um, things, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> the best thing <laughs> for somebody. <laughs> um, you reach out and try and cast this spell into the Move crystal. It. So at the same time, the spell both like 
mm-hmm. explodes in your in your body essentially. Um, and I'm gonna roll yeah. a little bit of damage. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm just perusing new characters. It's okay. Keep going. Uh, you're gonna take <laughs> ten damage from the explosion of the magic. That's... Are you dead? No. I mean, but another thing is gonna now. happen when you reach out and touch the crystal, and you don't cast a spell into it. Oh. You can feel it pulling magic out of your body. Mm. Sure. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> So, because you're not actually telling it how much magic to take, it's just going to keep taking until you let it go. Um, Which, because of the little explosion, is fairly instantaneous. Uh, So you are down a first level spell slot. Got it. When you say it explodes in her body, is it like a loud explosion, or is it just like a pulse? Everybody give me a perception check. Okay. Ooh, oh boy. Not you, Reyna. You know what happened. <laughs> um, Let's see if we can hear the wizard implode. Yep. <laughs> it's like the sub all over again. <laughs> uh, okay. Crixus, you hear from upstairs a zap, a scream, and a boom, like something hitting the ground. <laughs> oh god, that didn't sound good. And I'll start running up. We should probably check this out. Uh, Reyna, you are knocked prone by the by the blast. Sure. Uh, you come up and you see Reyna laying on the ground. Oh you're you're not unconscious or anything. But, Just like uh, smoking a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. The I'll crystal. Pull her away from the crystal. The crystal is not lit like it normally is, but you can see some little lines of light kind of coursing through it. Um, cool. Y- your light's kind of dim. I don't know if you want to do something about that. Can I pull her away from the crystal? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I feel like I feel like uh, I know exactly what should be done in this uh, scenario. So, I mean, who's going to firebolt this thing? Like, should it be me or someone else doing this? First of all, Rick. Reyna, are you Sorry? okay? <laughs> I I just I thought I could do something, and I I think maybe I mispronounced uh, one of the words um, in the spell, so it's fine. I'm I'm good. You're good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just okay. Get up. I'm just gonna get up and go put my hand on it, and can I just cast um? I will just cast one of uh, my own uh second level spells, because that'll at least get it like, because even my cantrip lit it just for a few minutes, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so I'm just going to cast one of my own second level spells into it, just to get it lit until I can reread my spell scrolls. Okay. Uh, So yeah, you reach out and cast a spell. You can feel the magic being pulled out through your arm into the crystal, and it instantly lights up. Um... Reyna, since you're in a state of near panic, mm-hmm. what color is the light? Ooh. I would say uh like a very like queasy sick like green. Okay. That's even uh, a normal light, it's very bright and crisp blue, and then this is like deep like sickness and worry and dread, which I just think yeah, is like it's a, like a green. it's like a lime green kind of. Or, yeah, or like more of like a curl up. Yeah. More of a yellowy green. I see. Yeah, more like I was like gonna grow up in it. Baby yeah. poop green. Did you just <laughs> call an SOS on accident? <laughs> it starts broadcasting this light of it's of adequate brightness, but yeah, it's definitely a different color than it normally is. Yeah. What, what, okay, what does that mean? That'll work for now. I'll just sit back down. <clears throat> okay. So How long will that, that last? I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine. Long enough for me to reread one of these spells and figure out what word I said wrong. Aragonis is going to be like, I have not met many wizards, but I can for sure say that you are the worst wizard in this town. Potentially in every town. But she can dance on a bar really well. You are bad and you should feel bad. (laughs) 
<laughs> wow. <Jesus. laughs> right. I'm walk over. Hey. Aragonis, stop being a dick. <laughs> you disappeared for like two days, and then you come back and you're just a fucking dick. Yeah, but if see, this is the thing. I disappeared and then I come back and I'm chilled out. If she disappeared for two days, maybe she would not be so highly strung. So, you know, she almost maybe she died should... multiple yeah. times. She probably multiple. could use getting laid. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. So, you know, I just came back stronger than ever. I walk away. From the the same thing. It got weird. Okay. <laughs> this is not weird yet. Uh, ooh, ooh. So as uh, okay. Raina, Raina goes to the side there, uh, um, Molo's gonna be like, "Hey, put your hand on the rock. It surely doesn't suck. Uh, <laughs> spread some light. Give it some light. I'm gonna give you bardic inspiration. Thank you. Um, that that might help. Do anything else? Crixus, make a perception check. Okay. <laughs> you see all. My perception is horrid. You rolled good last time. I did. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. One moment. Figure this out. Uh, Crixus, you rolled a six. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no. you come down the stairs, you see Kappa over by Casey's desk. Uh, Kappa, mm -hmm. check your Discord. Oh, boy. Let's mm. well, oh, along. Okay. Let's see. Do uh, I know well, that technical spell will light, the, will light that stone, by the way? Do you think what? Do I know how long that, that second level spell will keep that lit? You're not precisely sure. Make me an arcana check. I just didn't know if I had to do right away or not. You son of a bitch dice. 19 on the goddamn investigation. 15. Oh, 15 would have been perfect to cast that spell. Yeah. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> you can tell that um, a second level spell will light it, keep it lit for a few hours. Cool. All right. Then I'm going to slink downstairs. Okay. Uh, you go downstairs. I think that was just you. I hope so. Um, yeah, yeah. Kappa, I need you to go over to the secret channel for a Okay. <laughs> explode. Uh, no, Kappa did not explode. Uh, Reyna and company all come downstairs. Uh, Molo and Aragunas, are you hanging out up there with the crystal? Well, I sung a song and oh. then my audience left, so I guess I, uh, I don't want to follow my audience, but I guess I'll do it anyway. Ooh. Follow your audience. <laughs> Hey, where'd uh, you go? I sung this nice song for you and you left. I thought you had put more energy into this, because that's that's not the normal color. I, I I will. I just want to check something else real fast, and then I'll be up there. Can I start making my way over to where I saw the uh, prized spellbook? Uh, the spellbook is sitting right there. Oh. You picking it up? Uh, uh, I'm not gonna pick it up, but can I like try and open the book to like the cover? Can um, I open the cover? So the cover has one of those little locks on it. It is not locked though. So yes, you okay. can, you can open it. Oh God, that's well, she's forgetful. So maybe. Okay. 
you open it up, and the first thing you see on the first page is a note written in Casey's handwriting. And it says, you didn't really think I'd leave my spellbook behind, did you? I think I did. I kind of did. And then can I flip to the next page? Uh, if you flip to the next page, uh, there's another note from her. Sure. It says, this uh, uh, says, uh, if you're going to, uh, if you're going to be doing this anyhow, I suppose you better get a better spell book. And inside is a virtually blank spell book with a list of spells that she's put in there for you. Oh, wow. Pick up the book. So you can transfer your regular spell book over to this book, but in addition to your normal spells, You've also now got Absorb Elements. Okay. You've also got... Uh, and because of she's a scribe, she doesn't really need the normal uh, material components, right? I was just uh, about to... Yeah, with scribe wizards, they're weird. Um, I think the time is like minutes compared to hours, and I, I, if I remember, if I remember reading it, yeah, it almost sounds like you don't need the material component, but I could be wrong. Yeah, oh, I'm going to cut the gold to cost in half. I think. Um, okay, yeah. so you got absorb elements. Mm -hmm. You got hold person. Ooh. And you got. Um, ba, 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 ba. come here, stupid thing. Power word kill. <laughs> uh, no, oddly enough, power word kill is not in there. Uh, but Wish. they are they are spells you can't cast yet. Sure. Um, uh, one is fireball. Ooh. And, one that. and the other one is sending. Ooh. Sending. So you got a first, a second, and two third level spells that came with that book. Yeah, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take that and uh, I'm gonna create my tiny little quill in my hand and then uh, start uh, writing all of this down. It says the time uh spent to copy a spell into your spell book equals two minutes per spell level if you use the quill and i can erase it anytime yeah so i'm just going to start um i'm going to use her nicer spell book that she she gave me instead of my kind of old and battered copy okay uh so let's see how long will that take you if you want to do all of those spells uh math hey. um Two two minutes per spell level, so two, four, so six. Uh, so eight, you've got eight, twenty minutes. 20, Eighteen okay, minutes. Good. Okay. Um. So Reina sits down and starts furiously writing into her book. Uh, what do the rest of you want to do? Adagunas, where is this uh, Quagin fish looking leader guy <laughs> that we need to go kill? So the the fish guy, I mean, these guys are like, you know, they're low level soldiers, and then we probably need to find the commander and just like skewer him. I mean, I have to be? tell you this. I feel like I have to tell you this because uh, I've gone a lot of times up against Shoggins. Is that how you say their names? But uh, very rarely have I gone up against them. And everyone survived, so you know, like I vote for the wizard because, like, she's not very useful right now. So you know, we'll just <laughs> go there and like work hard for her. Why are you I'm so angry, angry at Reina? I'm, so I'm not angry. I'm not angry at anyone. I'm just saying, like, we have to strategize. She's over there with her book, so she can't hear us. So he's definitely thinking about it for her to hear her. <laughs> <laughs> so I, all I'm saying is, like, if if stuff goes back, I have vortex warp. I would vortex warp her into the sea of enemies, and then we just get out. So everyone's in. This is great plan. Okay, let's go kill him. Um, my thing is, we go back to the bullywogs, and then we say to them, "Take us to the commander." 
we use okay. them as well as cannon fodder and then you know we kill the the main guy well all the warriors are dead we can't talk to them because we don't have a spell anymore and they don't know where the fuck they came from i am not supposed to come up with the whole thing i gave you some ideas some were great some were <laughs> where do we go great, to find this and- guy yeah, are they above uh, above water? Are they in the water? Are they in the air? They're in the water. They're in the water. So a lot of you guys are not very good in the water. Um, so I think we should get some sort of vessel. Maybe we can steal one of the ships and then like go out into somewhere. the sea and kill them. <laughs> you don't need to steal a ship. I have one. It's small, um, but it will float. Can we steal your ship? Well, well if he we... gives it to us, it's not stealing. Yeah, but let I wanted to this. Let me though. rephrase this. It's not a ship, it's a boat. It's important to Aragunas that the ship is actually stolen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody gets this. Aragunas is like, okay, I will steal your ship. Aragunas if you find me that <laughs> You don't need to steal it if I just let us use it. Uh-huh. Okay. And then he's going to turn around and be like, when he's asleep, we're going to take it. <laughs> okay, Eric, whatever you say. I mean, you could steal it when I'm awake. I'm not going to stop you. That's even better. But All you right. have to steal it with me on it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, Eric Gunas, based on what you know about Sahagin, um, Basically, there are two dominant species in the under the water, the Tritons and the Sahagin. There are other underwater races, but those are the two main ones, right? So Sahagin live in cities under the under the water. Um, if they're on a raiding party like this, um, they probably don't like they don't set up camp like you would on land, but they will look for some sort of shelter. So. You would think like uh, an old shipwreck, something like that, something that they could hide in and kind of branch out from. Uh, he's going to be like, they would be in a shipwreck. But the problem is, there's a lot of you are mouth breathers, and uh, some of you, since I've had long rests with you, are really bad mouth breathers as well. So I just can't help it. Don't... I don't love. see a way where you guys would be useful. I'm just, I'm trying to find a nice way to say this. Um, so yeah, how are you guys going to get underwater to the shipwreck? Does anyone here have a plan? Because it seems like I come up with plans and you guys shoot them down. So. I mean, do we have to? be fair, to your plans water? suck. <laughs> do we need yeah, to go that's near fair, Early, that's if, fair. We just, if we just go near them, they'll come up to us. Yeah, probably. But and he he's gonna be like, I actually forgot to say this. It's like a very, very minor detail. But they oh. also talk to sharks. So like, you know, it's not like the greatest thing to be going yeah. out into the sea to fight them. Um, but like this is very minor detail. Probably didn't really even need to say it. So yeah. No, because we fought the sharks when they attacked the holy ones. We were aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay. can't we um like Go, um, uh, I guess no. that would be so hogging, right? We, we take some of these bully wogs that uh, uh, aren't alive anymore and then put them on like lines and then like uh, bounce them in the water. And once they come up, then we get them that way. Do you we want, want to go fishing? <laughs> Remember yeah. what we said to the, your whole poison blanket idea? That it was great and uh, we just couldn't uh, come up with the poisons in time and that's why we didn't put it in there. I agree with memory. this plan. I think if we went shipping for them, it would be it would be hilarious. Probably would not work, but it would be hilarious. So I, I'm I'm back in this plan. Rixus, is everybody fucking drunk or something? I don't know what's happening anymore. I, 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 I feel I like I'm losing brain cells. Weird. I don't have very many brain cells, but I feel like I'm losing what I have. Reina, do you have a way to help us fight underwater better? So we don't die and drown? I mean, yeah, sure. Whatever Aragunas said sounds sounds great. Still copying in my notebook. Mm. 
do you to do? I'm sure she, I'm sure they're not, uh, they're not uh, using me as bait. It'll be fine. I mean, you did get the most experience swimming. And dragon. Yeah. Oh, no, she didn't do very good. <laughs> Because you're I in mean, the I water do doesn't too. mean you're, you you're drown. swimming. <laughs> <laughs> you have to move to be swimming, I think. I mean, yeah, she was. Probably a good point. She was probably moving, but it was down. <laughs> 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 but it was kind of a hot, wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> it wasn't very hot. It was pretty bloody. It was pretty bad. That's she hot. learned so many letters. You were not doing anything. Oh, God. Well, I feel like this plan we have is not the fucking plan at all. It's just walking to death. First of all, um, do we, do we actually have to go kill these people? Yes. Oh. Yeah, Aragunas, why? Why do we need to kill these people? Yeah, because, we already. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, when like you just have a natural enemy that you hate? Like, nobody really ever explained to me why I hate these people, but they keep, like, killing my friends, and then I kill them back, and then they kill my friends again, and then I kill them. So, like, this is the part where I go kill them. They nearly killed you guys. I mean, they probably thought we were friends, which is, like, not really the case. But, um, yeah. So, now we go kill them back. And this you, time, but without you just, anyone uh, dying. But you we're just going to we're die. Not, you're going to kill them. From what I just heard is we're not friends, but we need to go help you and kill them like we are friends. Exactly. We're, Thank you. That just because that, you hate them. That that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. We all hate them. You guys will hate them too. They all they nearly killed you. Why don't you want revenge? You pussies. I like revenge. I don't like That's dying it. before I get it. Slam my axe on the ground, I'm like, let's go kill some bitches and I walk out. <laughs> you know, there is uh there is um I've heard of potions in my reading about water breathing. I mean, we could check with Opal. I mean, we did just save her, get her bargaining, you know, bargaining rights or able to bargain as a bullywog. So, like, I'm not saying she owes us, but, like, we could see if there's potions for that. I also need to check in with Opal and uh, my mother before we do anything. So, I'm sure she did. It's fine. <laughs> Everybody's just on one today. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Danica's like almost a voice of reason today somehow. Um, where's the water? Tom, where's this water? Uh, Aaron, did we remind you that there's a very hot elf in here we're still or a dwarf in here we're trying to talk to too? I mean oh, I'm not God. I'm not trying to still there? Wait, is he still there? Keep you busy, uh, but you can also do that. When you guys were leaving town, the dwarf was also leaving because he had been given two days to do his thing. I was going to tell him who the air genasi was. It's me. Yeah. So that he saved me and put me in manacles. Uh huh. Well, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> okay. So we could talk I don't even know what an air genasi is. is. What you but I am one. But I am whatever the dwarf needs me to be. <laughs> I mean, we can go see Opal if we are going to do an underwater adventure and we need water breathing. There's any chance she may have potions? Um, because I, I, I don't have a spell for that. So, thank you, Wizard. You are now the second most useless member of this party. Thank you. <laughs> Move it up. Aragunas might not make it through the night. <laughs> I, I'd kind of be shocked if Aragunas did make it. Um, all right, so you guys are making your way to Opal's place. Sure. Um, uh, before my bird freak out, does the time on the White House stack? So if I pop, if I put another spell into it, will it like stack with the hours I already have? You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just That's do it and see. Answer. All right, I'll let it run its course a little bit first. Fine, okay. I'll do it before we leave. Uh, you guys make your way down to Opal's, uh, and as you are getting there, uh, make me perception checks. I'm gonna need you to stop, stop with the perception checks. I suck at those. Oh okay, my god, I did apparently. Yeah, just get good. <laughs> just get good, bitch. <laughs> 
Okay. Oops. Uh, oh, perfect. Crixus and... Well, Danica does so, but... Danica and Crixus, uh, from South City, uh, you hear a noise. Uh, and Crixus, this is a noise that's vaguely familiar to you. Danica, you are not familiar with the noise, but you hear it anyway. Uh, and it just kind of is like a... And then you hear oh, like the crackle of lightning, less of an explosion, but more of like a lightning storm is happening somewhere in South City. Uh, Crixus runs south. <laughs> uh, Crixus, you see uh, through Eliwick's vents at the top of her like roof line there, mm -hmm. uh, you see lightning bolts just shooting out of them. Oh, God. Not again. I will run straight to Eliwick. Uh, you opening the door? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, make me a deck save. Oh, boy. Is anyone going with Crixus? I would follow. Yeah. Four. Okay. Uh, you open the door and take a lightning bolt to the chest. Um, <laughs> you are going to take... One, two, three, four, five, six... You were going to take 17 damage. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so the rest of you kind of arrive. Um, lightning what bolts are just kind that? of shooting out the door now. Um, and you can see Crixus. Eliwick is in there. And she's in one of those little, uh, like, it's like looks like a Faraday cage, right? <laughs> so... The lightning bolts are shooting all around her, but nothing is actually hitting her. Uh, she's got her welder's goggles on. She's got some heavy hydraulic tongs holding this blue sphere. And that is the lightning where the lightning bolts are coming from. So she's like got little controls in her cage that she can manipulate her tools with. Um, as you get hit by the lightning bolt, you can see her look over her shoulder and go, Oh! Probably, yeah. probably close the door. Yeah. Probably better close it. Close it. I close it. You close the door. Uh, the lightning storm continues. Just random <laughs> lightning bolts shooting out her roof, like into the mountainside or the cliffside. Some out over the sea. Could, could you not? <laughs> do you do you yell that in? I do. <laughs> <laughs> she says, "I think I've almost got it." I think that I could, if I could just get it to calm the fuck down, then uh, this is gonna work. Yeah, that'd be great. Hurry up before you kill us all. Uh, you see your father, your mother, and your sister all come out of your place, and your dad is just like, What the hell is happening out here? I don't open the door. Lightning hurts. Uh, he runs up to you and kind of like pats you down. He's like, Are you all right? What happened to you? I think I'm on fire. I open the door. She did this to you? I knew she was no, no. good. And he, go he goes to open the door. <laughs> I try to tackle him. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. Oh, no. Yeah, your dad rolled a natural one on his. Uh, so, Crixus, ever since you were young, when you were making your trip south, and your uh, your caravan that you were traveling with got attacked by those elves um your dad fought helped to fight off the attackers but took a pretty serious injury to the leg and has walked with a limp ever since yeah. um therefore you know exactly where to hit him from that just crumple him <laughs> take his limp leg that so way. <laughs> you you do and sweep he, the leg and, sweep and the he, leg johnny <laughs> You swept the leg hard. He goes down. Uh, oh, you can see he looks furious. Trust me, you'll thank me in a minute. I'm gonna have words with that gnome if she's up to no good like this. Yeah. Uh, Quite yep, yep. uh, it... Run her hand over the wound and cure wounds. Okay. Question: In that um, small amount of time when the door was open, there there look like any type of a disconnect or an off switch. Fucking course of one, we get five back, Crixus. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Danica, roll me a, just a straight up d twenty, 
and uh, Molo. Give me an investigation check, but this DC is high. You got a 10. 22? Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I so said that would have been uh, 18. Okay, yeah, nope, you don't see anything. That that would have indicated a shutoff. I mean, the door was only open for a sir. moment. Yeah, you are pretty intimidating. Why are you more uh, intimidating than I am? That's stupid. Because it's charisma, that's why. That is the dumbest stat. <laughs> it makes no sense. No, there, that should, it should be strength. There is a variant rule where you can use your strength modifier instead of charisma Tom, for intimidation. Tom, can, we, can we switch that? Uh, I'm not going to switch it permanently. It's going to depend on how you do your intimidation. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So flex. But yeah, I will. I will absolutely call for like an intimidation or a persuasion with a different stat if uh, if you're using it in a way that makes sense. Right. Like if I'm trying to aggressively intimidate someone, it won't be. Yeah. If you pick somebody up by their shirt collar and slam them into a wall, yeah, you're using your strength to intimidate. Okay. Yeah, you're big and strong. Uh, if and you're if you're is... carefully explaining how you're going to remove their fingernails, that's a charisma one. Mm-hmm. That uh, makes sense. It was, and I definitely saw it was lightning that came out, correct? Oh, yeah, definitely a lightning bolt. Uh, and I heard Crick says, I want to take the chance, even though I didn't see one. I want to open the door and try to disconnect oh, this uh, I... uh, thing. While you, Crick says, has his dad tackled, I'm going to go in anyway. Oh. Um, um, step no. back. I would let you make an opposed athletics check. You'd have to make it a disadvantage, though, Crixus, because yeah, you're okay. you're busy with your dad. I will. I will. I will take that disadvantage. And so, when Molo, when you Molo... can do athletics. Or... Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you could do athletics or acrobatics. Not that it matters. I, I saw the lightning too. So I would try and stop Molo as well. I would try and pants him to trip him. <laughs> okay. Take, give his, me an... take his pants off. Give my... me an athletics. Oh my god! If it doesn't work, please let his pants fall off and lighten him in the dick. <laughs> hey, am I doing I'm another uh, strike check? <laughs> oh. Damn it! Okay, um, Danica, you dive for Molo's pants. Molo completely misreads the situation, um, but does get the door open. Um, Molo, make me a deck save. <laughs> deck save. No, you stupid fuck. Uh, 16? I don't know if that passes. Yep, yeah, that does pass. Okay, okay, DC was 15. So you're only going to take half damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ooh! <laughs> Uh, what is half of 23? 11. 11. Uh, so yeah, you're going to take 11 lightning damage to the chest. So I'm uh, going to take 5 damage. Are you resistant okay. to lightning? I mean, aren't all humans? No. No? Well, that's weird. Uh, make me another investigation <laughs> check. Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Go put a fork in the pocket. See what happens. Uh, investigation. All right, I'll hit the right one this time. Oh, no, it was on my team. <laughs> uh, there is lightning everywhere. It is hard to see, like, because you, you, Eliwick's got welding goggles on to see what she's doing. Uh, so, yeah, it's incredibly bright flashes of light. It's like a, it's like a really intense rave in here, really. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you do not see anything to indicate a shutoff. Um, and now that the door is open, Eliwick looks over and she's like, no, no. No, no, please shut that door. Shut shut it, please. You need to turn this off now. It's it's hurting everybody. It's fine. It's only hurting people who open the door. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll lock the door. You know, I thought about that, and I <laughs> kind of figured it would be fine. But uh, things kind of went not fine real fast. But I think I can, I think I can recover here. I think I can make this work. Yeah, so is it like... Is there like thunder sounds or is there just like lighting? Uh, yeah, so it's it sounds like somebody casting lightning bolts all the time. Okay. Um, Can like Aragunis uh, try and come in or is that door locked now? What I imagine uh, it is like the Tesla experiments with the... Yeah, pretty much. For people making the music with the lightning bolts. And yeah, if you're going to stand in that doorway, you're going to be making more deck saves, Molo. <laughs> so what is your plan? Move out of the oh, way. Oh no, dude. <laughs> 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 Damn. <laughs> Um, uh, Did you shut the there... door? Uh, yeah, I shut the door. Uh, I tried to fish for a lock on the way out so no one else makes that mistake. Uh, it definitely has a lock on it. 
Um, if you want to lock it from the outside, you would need like thieves tools. I don't know if it was like a push button and I can pull it, but no, no, okay. this is like a heavy duty lock. Okay. Um, what thieves tools you say? Yeah, Vaughn actually holds up. I have some of those, but yeah, uh, I think Captain, you I'm also gonna... Vaughn make himself useful. I'm also going to be helping my dad get up. Okay, your dad, you help your dad up, and he just kind of and starts walking back to the house. What? Uh... Dad, I'm sorry. Can you heard from here. You're from where welcome. Uh, where are you, Ergunas? Uh, so the door is right, basically where her token is, where Eliwick's token is. Okay, so he's gonna come here and be like, "Um, lady, I can see that you're making thunder, and I will be lighting because lightning always comes first, and um, then he's do you gonna work." The do you open the door to say that? <laughs> Yes, he does not give it to me. Make me a Can I try to push our goonies out of the way? Uh, yeah, so we'll hold on to that deck save in case you succeed here. Uh, oh, athletics yeah. check from Molo. Um, Aragunas make either an athletics or an acrobatics uh. check. <laughs> you guys do know lightning hurts. Yeah, okay. like, I, I actually uh, had the plan, guys. Like, this is not just me being stupid. Like, uh, Molo, it's you, hard to tell. I'm just <laughs> you fail to stop Aragunas. <laughs> Aragunas, you are gonna take 24 lightning damage. Oh, oh <laughs> my god. god, I've just been rolling better on that damage every time. <laughs> yeah. He he just down. like leaning against his stall okay. and just like, oh yeah. Eric, Eric is unconscious. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, mean, guys, I know this is going to sound mean, but we just let him bleed out, right? Because hundred percent, hundred percent, Danica. Just make that line with the just... bad that died. Three people in a row open the fucking door. <laughs> First of all, I had a. I should have just been one uh, as I'm yelling, as I'm trying to like console my dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, oh, not your you dad tricks, walks inside and the slams the door two. behind him. The other two. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, is anyone shutting the door or is more lightning coming at Aragunas? Just leave it open. <laughs> Let's get the new friend. <laughs> I, I want to attempt to shut the door, yeah. Okay. Can you I shut the door, door and lock it? Or I'm going to send Vaughn over to do it? Uh, Kappa, if you want to try and lock it, then you yeah. can, or you can have Vaughn do it. I'll do it. Okay, give me a sleight of hand. Uh, and if you're... Do you have expertise yet? Uh, I do, but I don't have it in Thieves Tools. Okay. Uh, yeah, with a dirty 20, yeah, you lock that. You lock the door. Uh, Aragunas, make me a quick death save. <laughs> we'll take oh. out my paint, finger and paint. And before... Uh... Before you do, Aragunas, um, don't make it through D&D Beyond. Go over to the chat and select uh, select a blind GM roll when you uh, roll a death save. Yeah. Oh, God. That's good. I'm going to paint. Warning, do not open. You will die. Oh, <laughs> okay. Where's the normal drawing? Board? I will, I will release the, lightning the last um, healing word from my ring. Okay, Aragunas. you were... You released the last healing. Let him die. <laughs> Aragunas, I, mean, I uh, kind of wanted to, but now maybe he'll owe, the, they'll owe me one. So I'd like to imagine that Reyna is standing team. over Aragunas going, who's the least helpful member now? <laughs> oh, no, I'm leaning against, I'm leaning against that shelf like in the like the farthest stall, stall of the um, little area there and just being like, oh, God, these people. And <laughs> just release it. And just like, okay. Uh, how much HP does Aragunas get back? Um, that was, uh, what did your healing word do, Danica? It is a D4 plus four. Plus four. You're the one who put that in there, I believe. Yeah. Uh, seven points of healing. Okay, Aragunas, you pop back up with seven HP. Then Raina just waves. Thank you, lady whose name I cannot remember. Uh, Molo's gonna get a red like door. Teabag position over Aragunas, be like, whisper to him. I'd be like, hey, uh, we're not all resistant to lightning. Are you mushroom stepping him? <laughs> or him? No, 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 no. I was just asking if uh, um, ants have penises. No, because uh, yeah. then they would be uncles. 
No, oh, God. God damn it. Stop it. Oh, man, that hurt. Right, Boonies is going to stab himself. No, I'm joking. Crixus uh, will Crixus join and stab too. himself, too. Crixus, okay. as you walk by your sister following your dad, she goes, Ooh, someone's in trouble. Oh. Hey, hey, Kappa, good job with your sister. She's fucking hot. Murder. Murder all of you. I whisper that to Kappa. <laughs> I know. I'm not with well, this we didn't trade, but did we maybe about? get back to the, the plan at hand, or are we just going to keep sticking yeah, our fingers well, in this electric socket? Yeah. Mom, can, you, can you calm Dad down? Uh, your mom puts a hand on your shoulder and says, you know he's sensitive about that, but yeah, I'll, I'll handle it. <sighs> and she'll walk in. And I give uh, my little sister, as I'm walking back to the group, the... Uh, the old dad at the church. When you're talking, you get the little back of the head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she gets one of those. Uh, as I walk back. <laughs> make a make an unarmed attack. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not gonna do four damage to my sister. <laughs> She's She's very strong. I'm not. I'm not gonna have this do damage. This is to see okay. if she can duck out of the way. Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> Why did I even race the crank? God damn it! He killed his sister. <laughs> you, man. You All slap, the damage. You slap her head clean off. <laughs> oh my you god! You killed the car you wheeled when we're not in combat. You knew that was gonna happen. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you slap her upside the head, and she's like, "Ah, dick!" And then <laughs> runs runs into the house. I reckon it's like you said my name. I am curious <laughs> if you'll tell me this. How much HP does she actually have? I will not tell you that. Damn it. <laughs> Bro. That might be important <laughs> later. <laughs> it mattered for Vaughn. Mm. Uh, Is he a fucking board? He was fortuitously <laughs> using the board as armor. <laughs> <laughs> Just not gonna let that one go. Huh? Oh, I'd like God. to picture that he's carrying the board around with him now in case he needs to hide. What is this, Ed, Ed and Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You guys go back up to Opal's? Yep. Yeah. Hurry up and finish, yeah. Eliwick. We need to talk. Working on it! And try not to blow everything up. Hey, if anything blows up, it'll just be my house. Fair. Uh, uh, seeing lightning see come from the door, I want to tap the handle, kind of open it to the side and run away. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> um... You've got like a little bit of a static charge from your from your walk over here, and the the lightning just in the air, so it shocks the door handle shocks you just a little bit. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, oh, take thirty lightning. Uh, you see Opal inside. Opal kind of looks over your shoulder at the lightning shooting out, and she's like, oh, well, that's different. The scales are all standing. Yeah, up. you know how shocking I am, right? Um, but we we're we're here on a different mission. Um. We might need to go into the water, and just like everyone else, you know, I I gotta I breathe through my mouth. I can't you know hold my breath indefinitely or anything. But so we might need some some things <clears throat> to go under water. I don't know if uh, you have those or not. We can whip those up. Uh, po potions of water breathing. Yes, of course I can. I can whip some of those up. Um, what what for? I mean, I just told you we might have to go under water, and uh, we can't breathe uh, there. Yeah, but it's what? a secret. Oh, oh. Um, it's a rescue it's a mission. mission. You know how we rescue you. We got to rescue somebody else. We're we're just the protection squadron. Oh, um. Well, how did your? She she runs back in to start gathering some stuff up and kind of over her shoulder, she's like, "How did your uh? How did it go with the bullywugs? Hmm. There's a lot or... yeah. There's a lot less logins and sharks, uh, because of us, and a lot less bullywugs. Uh, she drops a potion on the floor when you say that. She's like, Sogin? Here? No, over yes. there. Over here, we're fine. Oh. Over there, it's a different But they story. don't go... They just came up the river? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Oh. She, th Apparently? she throws a bottle at Molo. <laughs> <laughs> now is not the time for that, Molo. <laughs> it's always the time for that. <laughs> um... Incest is the best. Why Rome when you can get it at home? Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? I love it. That is impressive, I try and pants, sir. I try and pants Molo again. <laughs> Molo, do you resist being pantsed? 
Yeah, they'll get a good show. <laughs> okay, you pants, Molo. Uh, Molo, do you wear anything under your pants? Um, yeah, just what my mother gave me. Okay, yep. <laughs> you guys get a full look at Molo. There. Uh, you like what is you say? Really cold in here, Molo. <laughs> you know, Opal you seems fairly unfazed by this. You get the feeling that she is very comfortable with nudity. Yeah. Um, but she, yeah, she kind of gathers up some potions, and she says, "All right, well, if they're." terrorizing the bullywugs then they must not be far this is no good at all um all right i have that one i have four right now that i could give you um i mean you guys did rescue me and and you did this favor for me so dm's gonna make a roll to see if she charges you <laughs> she's like all right look just take these ones. These ones on the house. There's that. If you can solve this bully or this Sahagan problem, that will be good for all of us because we don't want those creatures just they'll be they'll be attacking ships coming into our harbor in in in, in no time if we allow them to really take stock here. How long would it take you to make another one? Because then one of us will die. Yeah, we still need a couple more. How much? How long would it take to make a? Couple extras. Uh, if I really, if I really put the screws to it, then I can probably make, uh, maybe two or three more before tomorrow. That'd be fantastic. Well, by, by tomorrow, you could come get them in the morning. That's the really good would idea. Work, we all took a lot of damage from whatever's happening over. At, yeah, what uh, happened to you? You guys look burned and like. Ellie Wick. Stupidity happened. Oh. No, 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 no. It Is was that coming? heroic. It was heroic. Super you didn't open the door, the... did you? Y yeah. yeah. Oh my god, why? <laughs> we left of our own safety. We tried to rescue the lady. Please, if anyone needs rescuing in town, it's not Eliwick. I mean, despite what it looks like, only one of us opened the door. Yeah. The these the... are all from previous uh, <laughs> encounters. Make a deception no. check. Sweet. <laughs> He's pretty good at those. Ooh, to get his hands because his pants are down. Uh, you only you only beat her insight by twenty points. Um, so she's Deep like, up. "Wow, you guys must have really encountered some dangers on the on the ride back." I can't imagine what would be burning you like that, but but I'll I'll get I'll get to work straight away. Come come by first thing in the morning, and we'll see we'll see what I've got for you. All right. What time also, of day is it now? Uh, let's see. You guys took a long rest, so it would have been morning. Uh, I'm gonna say that it is late afternoon. I think that was a sneeze, so bless yeah. you. Oh, whoever made that noise is okay. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's an odd one. So should we go it's get drunk? It was party. <laughs> sleep. She says she's good. All right, good. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, Opal, how soon can you get more potions made for my mom? Oh, um, well, if I do that instead of these nope, water breathing nope. potions. Oh, no. Uh, first. Water breathing first. first. Okay, okay. Um, I'll start work on it straight away tomorrow. Uh, if I really dedicate the day to it, it could probably take me a day to make, uh, to make another one. Okay. Sounds good. Because I'm going to go in the morning. going to be like, we had a plan, and it involved four portions, so. We need more than four. Mm, I agree to disagree, I guess. So, <laughs> so we want to. Maybe spend... this is why your friends always die, Oregonus. Well, sometimes to make an omelet, you gotta yeah, die. Good, Wait, good is, to know. Is, Keep that in mind. That that okay, Aragonus is not cooking for us ever. Sorry, what was the question? I just said you're not cooking for us ever, because you'll fucking kill us. No, don't worry, don't worry. I don't even know what an omelet is. So. I'm not even a player, and I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. We all should be. I'm, Maybe uh, you should okay. go play with your girlfriend for a while. Fucking weird ass thing. Uh, Botox is out in the water going... Just doing some don't circles. Don't worry, Botox. Now. 
Just just doing Botox things. Botox keeps bringing fish and things to the Herringon family because he feels bad about their curse. Um, yeah. <laughs> What do, what do you guys want to do for the rest of the day? Uh, I'm going to go check on Eliwick and my parent, my fam. Okay. Uh, do you open the door to Eliwick's? No. <laughs> okay. Is it still going crazy? Um, it is still, there are still lightning bolts exiting, but definitely fewer. It is calming down. Just going to walk by him like, still doing okay in there? She's like, yep. Yeah. Yep, I think I got it. I think I got her now. It's gonna. It's all gonna be good here. Let's hope so. Okay. Kepa, do we need to get anything for your boat, or is it all good to go? I mean, we might have to make sure everyone fits on it, but otherwise, probably. Er- Aragunas can drive ride his thingy. Ride his thingy. Sorry. Er- Aragunas can ride his thingy. That is true. Yeah, well, obviously, I was not going to be in the boat. I steal it, and then I give it to you guys. <laughs> I steal it from Kappa, and then give it to Kappa. <laughs> just just yeah. let him have it, Kappa. Otherwise, we're going to fucking hear about this forever. Okay, Kappa, don't worry. I am, like, that person that steals from good people and then gives back to the other good people. Reverse Robin Hood. I don't know who that is, bless you. <laughs> Probably some guy you'd want to fuck. Yes. Tight clothes. Good. Oh, uh, yep. We're men. Yes. Robin We're Hood, men. famous for having tight oh, clothes. Oh, dude, I had that song in my head as soon as you said that. <laughs> um, okay. This keeps telling me Foundry has a critical failure. It's just like, it's had enough of me. It, it can't <laughs> handle your shenanigans anymore. Should we, should we check out the boat and make sure we'll all fit and see if we need anything? No. Sure. I mean, it, it was used for fishing before this, so... Does it smell like fish? A little bit, yeah. If the catch of the day is red snapper and it smells like tuna, you throw it back. <laughs> I can go for some fish right now, too. Okay, then. Um, all right, let me pull up Kappa's boat. You actually have a map for my boat? I've been working on it for the last few minutes here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's why he's been letting us roleplay the weirdness. Yeah, you just let that run out. There is okay. no stopping the weirdness, apparently. Yeah, that's... <laughs> No, Foundry is trying to help. It's uh, sorry, it's telling me that like I can't go in. <laughs> you have to give it it's a like, few minutes. Away for it to forever. Play. It's literally yeah. telling me that there's seven players out of seven. It's just like so yeah, it, it's still reading you as in yeah. So just just give it, it a minute. You'll be all right. Yeah, it, it'll Fine. clear eventually. It took like fifteen minutes for mine to clear the one time. Um, Kappa, remind me what your boat consists of. Uh, what? It was. Oh, what do you mean? What it consists of? Um, like uh, it's it's basically uh, if I remember right, it's like a little single mass, basically a dinghy, right? Like oh it's yeah, not... yeah, it's like a, it's like a dinghy, but just meant for someone just above a like slightly bigger than your normal one would be, but okay. not by much, and it's just like a single sail. And he has it with like little rigs so that he could do it all by himself. Okay. I think this will work. This will work for now, anyway. Kappa's uh, boat. Um, okay. Crixus, you going in to talk to your parents? Yeah, but not like nothing serious role play, just checking in, seeing if they're okay. all right. Uh, you can see uh, your dad is like furiously working on something. Um, your dad is a big, muscular dude, so like he 
really doesn't like when people are able to physically overpower him, right? <laughs> and so I wasn't even raging. Your you your mom. Mind, but... I mean, he did roll a natural one on that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you can still tell that he's still pretty pretty upset. Uh, your mom is like kind of quietly helping him as as they go. And she looks at you and kind of gives you a nod, like, it's going to be okay. And you look over, and your sister just kind of draws her thumb across her neck, like, you're going to die. Um, hard eye roll. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, your dad is not wanting to talk to you right now. So, is it a work in silence? Can I just, like, walk up and just start helping him in silence? Um. Or is he going to kick me out? Hmm. Make me a charisma roll. Oh, great. Ooh, that was you well. love just, just straight charisma? Yep. I mean, uh, you, 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 you should can have do persuasion first. if it's better. but uh, No, persuasion is actually worse. Okay, yeah, the, just a straight up charisma roll. Actually, 14. actually, no, persuasion is actually better. So I got a plus two. All right, we'll yeah. use your first, we'll use yeah. your first roll. Thanks, we'll just appreciate so, it. 16. Uh, he's not kicking you out. But yeah, he is pretty not stoked and not like talking to you. That's fair. Uh oh, somebody dropped. Oops. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Stupid map with a grid already on it. Uh, okay. Uh, your sister, you can see, is just sort of uh, practicing some spells here and there. Like she's mm -hmm. shooting, shooting little little fire bolts up, and you know, into the forge. It doesn't really need to be kept lit, but like she is, she's just kind of using it for practice. Um, and I am gonna put you guys on Kappa's boat, real Yay, quick. Kappa's boat. Uh, once I get your tokens out here, there is you... enough room for you all to be on Kappa's boat, but it is tight. <laughs> like it is, it is not a comfortable ride. If that's how far do you think this get dude is? Were we waiting before we get on Kappa's boat to get the uh, potions? I'm just, just checking, you're, you're not sailing right out. now. You're just okay. checking. Out. Okay. Yeah, we're just seeing if it'll work and if we need anything. Put Kappa back here where he can drive. Molo and. Yep. Kappa, does your boat have a name? Yeah, does uh, your boat have a name? We named it. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, You gave me a name for your dad's boat, but I don't think you ever gave me one for your boat. Oh, did I not? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, no, doesn't have a name. Oh, we can call it the Break Wind. If it mm. makes a difference, if it makes a difference, I would have tried to went to Elksy's and possibly the mayor's. But uh, yeah, we can still do that. We're just we're just checking out the boat right now. Okay. Okay. So we can take these, and they're going yeah, to go get this guild. I'm going to paint Break Wind on the back. Yeah. Won't you dare? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dare. I was actually going to see, well, now that my dad's pissed at me, I'm going to have to go to Eliwick, see if there's anything I can put on my weapon to help me not have disadvantage in the water swinging an axe. Um, all right. Uh, does anyone need to keep looking at Kappa's boat? Can no. I uh, minor illusions that says, uh, uh, what did I just say? Uh, fuck! I had it, and I can't remember what I had. <laughs> Good moment, because I'm still thinking what I I came up with. It's a mystery. <laughs> Reina, you know about this these potions that we're getting? Is does it? It doesn't help with fighting, does it? Uh, no, no, I I don't believe. I think the technical uh, ingredients, if if she does them right, which I will check and clarify um that uh they just let you breathe Sorry. underwater that's uh, be it fixes maybe you need a better weapon for the water like uh i don't know a pointy stick <laughs> mm. Mm. 
I don't know. Hmm? Um, you could grab a uh, different weapon from either your place, or you could probably convince Eliwick to give you one. Aragonis, are there any weapons that are good underwater? Um, anything that part. I mean, he's gonna look at you and be like, "Okay, so like water is not like the earth, so yes, um, any." weapon that uh, you can swing at probably range weapons are not that great underwater but um yeah okay that was very that helpful thank you you are welcome very welcome again probably like a trident or a spear so weapons that don't have disadvantage when you're underwater are daggers, javelins, short swords, spears, and tridents. Uh, everything else would have a uh, would have imposed disadvantage whilst underwater. Rexes and tridents. Oh. Oh. Spellcasting work underwater because I guess I just never. Um, everything underwater I think is resistant to fire damage. Um, sure. So if they are also like if they also have resistance to fire damage, then it would be doubly so. Otherwise, I think things work fairly normally. Um, if you can breathe it, underwater. Yeah, as, long, yeah. as long as you can breathe underwater. Talk, right, okay, which we will hopefully yeah, be. If your to... spell has a verbal component and you don't have the ability to breathe underwater, then you can only cast one spell. Then you're out of air. Um, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, creatures and objects fully immersed in water have resistance <laughs> to fire damage. Can I, do we have any tridents? I'll try to... Uh, you don't have any tridents in your blacksmith. Eliwick might. Let's to talk to Eliwick. See if she can put the electricity on the tridents. That'd be great underwater. Uh, you yeah? Go over to Eliwick's and there's no more lightning coming out of her. Oh, thank God. I still knock. Uh, <laughs> you knock and she says, come in! The door is locked. Oh. <laughs> She's like, what? Uh, it's, I didn't it's... lock that door. We locked it to be safe. Oh, that was smart. And then yeah, she sure was. It takes a minute, but she uh you can hear her coming out of the Faraday cage because the door is pretty squeaky and she uh, opens the door. Um when you look into her shop, actually I'll put you on her shop map so oh. that there you, go. you can see a little bit better. Uh, and I'm just going to put the party token out so y'all can also see. Okay, so uh, Crixus, you go in. She's installed the Faraday cage basically where her workbench is. So the uh -huh. so she can kind of manipulate things over there. Um, you can see that sitting on her workbench outside the Faraday cage is a blue orb probably about the size uh maybe like a foot in diameter and you can just see it kind of pulsing with energy and occasionally a little lightning will kind of just spark off of it that's it first of all yeah what's why, up why oh that's i i think if i make a couple right, more adjustments would be like you should touch it i think that Not it'll me. be an adequate Someone power should. source that i'm working on um it's still a little unstable, so, you know. What do you mean? Uh, she looks over at Aragunas and she's like, well, I mean, I wouldn't hit it with a hammer. That would be bad. But, you know, a few minor tweaks, and I think I might be able to uh, really get it to do what I want here. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, second, uh, we are going to probably be getting into a fight underwater. He just kind of like looks at his axe. Oh, I don't yeah, yeah. Ah, let me see what I got, kid. And All right, good. Dad's not talking to me because uh, earlier. What happened? He tried to come in here and yell at you because I got struck by a lightning bolt, and I may oh. or may not have tackled him to the ground. Oh Fair. wow, kid, that's. Yeah. Your, your dad's a great guy, but man, is he proud. That's I know. A, I didn't. A, 
that's a hit to the old pride box right there. That's it not, was. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't think it would work as well as it did. But well, he's got that bum leg, you know. He just. I know, and I I went for it. Wow. I went, I went straight for the leg. Yeah, he's, yeah, that'll do he it. Swept the leg. I swept the leg. Low blow, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You went full Cobra Kai on him. I did. <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> um, Frick Give it Ralph Macchio. I need you to make me a luck check here. So just a straight no, up no. d20. It's and a luck if, check. A luck check is you're just going to roll me a d20. Uh, Something that's not made up. One to five, she's got nothing for you. Uh, six to ten, she's got something that'll work. Uh, 10 to 15, she has a nice item that will work. And 15 to 20, she has basically exactly what you need. On. Uh, what did you say 10 was? 10 was she has something that'll work. Okay. Uh, so she kind of sifts through and she's like, I mean, I kind of deal more in specialty items. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this. And she sets a, uh, she sets a, it's like a, um, I guess it's sort of like a glaive. It's a, a spear with an extra long point on it. Hmm. Um, she's like, if I had time, I could have, I could have made you something nice to take under there with you. Um, this will do. This will do for you though. Um, uh, so it has basically glaive stats, which are it does a d a d10 of damage. Yeah. Um, but it it functions as a spear. So it doesn't have the reach. It doesn't have the reach of a glaive, but it has better damage than a spear does. Not okay. still not as good as your axe, but yeah. no disadvantage. Okay. Uh, so, well, I have a feeling this isn't going to be my only time going under. So, what you said you could make something special? Her eyes kind of light up, and she's like, "Well." I can make a lot of special things. What kind of time do we have to work on here? Just just whenever. Put what, it on put, my back put, burner, just work on something in my spare time. Or, like, get creative. Uh, you tell her to get creative, and gnomes are kind of small and childlike looking, right? But yeah. she's like a 50-year-old woman, right? So she yeah. is... But... For a second, she looks 12. And her <laughs> eyes just kind of light up, and she gets kind of giddy, and she's like, oh, I can get creative. Yeah. Uh, and she actually you... turns and runs over to her workbench and starts sketching. As I'm walking out, I just go, you know my style. Oh, oh, I can I can do that in there. And what if what if I put this on? I could make that go. Oh, You're no, the I best, Ellywick. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later, kid. <laughs> and I walk out. All right. I will put a glaive in my inventory. Okay. Is there anyone in this town that might know where a shipwreck could be? Do um, we know where it's to go? Well, we know somebody who's been attacked by Swaggin before, right? I mean... Besides the... Anyone in our town? Yeah. yeah wouldn't the yeah. guy who owns that weird pub? The know? other, the other Trigon? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the guy who's got his gills sewed shut. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like it was I very can't remember, unfortunate. I can't remember his name though. Marnus. Marnus. Marnus and Maya. Yeah. I will take him? you over to the drowned man. Uh, let's see. I mean, it, it is very funny that it's called the drowned man because that is what happened to him after this sewed his gill shut. So, like you know. Yeah, I think that was maybe. I think that was uh, that may be the point of the name Aragunas, but, you know, maybe not. Maybe you should ask him. That'll go well. Yeah, I will ask him. I was there, <laughs> but I made a strategic retreat at the time. You you ran away? You bitched no, it out and I ran made away? a strategic retreat. That's different. Oh. Mm. I didn't think... Oh, so when Aragunas leaves us to die, he will call it a strategic retreat. Yeah. It's sometimes all about the labeling, really. Mm -hmm. Fair. Uh, you find yourselves outside the Drowned Man Tavern. All right. 
Just go to Iron Reliefs will be like, okay, where? Wait, where is the tavern? Uh, I thought it was smaller last time. These are the doors to the tavern. These doors up here are for the pot shop. Uh, what? Aragunas, you walk in. Uh, Maya clocks you immediately. Sees that you did not get any of the things she told you to get, and it's just like, just looks really, really angry. <laughs> Like, baby, baby, I am all you need. And I also cannot remember what you asked me to get because I was just staring at your arm. So, um, do you all go in? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get me to the wall again. That was fun. Remember that? I'm going to be trying to get a great time, time, Marcus. Any, I'm anyone to use the weapon. Okay. Anyone going inside can make a perception check. I've got a big black blob where that should be on mine. I don't know if it's just me or... Uh, I'll go in. But... How about now? Yeah, how about now? Mm, doesn't appear to. Yeah, because I lost myself, lost myself in the darkness. <laughs> Can you not see inside? Oh. Huh. huh, your token says you can see inside. Yeah, I can see, all right. It's just all black. Um, well, here, let me do this. How about now? Mm, let me refresh. I can't, but I'm also in the pot shop, so... so. <laughs> can you see in the pot shop? Yes. You can see in the pot shop. Actually. Actually, do you have my vision for some reason? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, are you still just seeing black right now? I'm reloading now. Okay. Oh, no, there I can see. It's good. Okay. I said to reload. Uh, okay, so uh, Kappa and Reyna, yeah, you see that uh, Reyna, I don't know that you've ever met Maya. She doesn't really leave that often. Uh, Kappa, you certainly have. Um, so yeah, Reyna, uh, she's only got the one arm, and the other arm is a mechanical arm. The fist on the mechanical arm is getting so tight that uh, it is starting to, like... Creak? Creak, yeah. It's starting to make noise. Hmm. I have a million questions on how that arm works, but I'm going to stay quiet for now. <laughs> uh, Maya turns and walks back over here, goes behind the bar, and she's like, Mardis, I'll be downstairs. If you need anything, let me know. And she goes downstairs. Is that the chicku bang there, Gunas? Yes, a hundred percent. We had this whole thing where she was like choking me with her like robot arm. It was hot. It was hot. That sounds kinky. Marnus is was, like, so what uh, what can I do for you? So Marnas, Marnas. Do you remember when you got your gill sewn shot and like you know, you were drowning. So I was wondering if you called this place a drowning man, the drowned man, because you drowned? Uh, he reaches one hand up and kind of touches where his gills used to be. And he's like, yeah, that's sort of a... <clears throat> sort of a play on words, as it were, you could say. Well, that's very fucked up, and you should probably see someone about that. Okay, well, we've asked our questions, so we can go now. Oddly okay, enough, wait, there's no up, therapist in town. Uh, so, so drowning guy, uh, do you, we're we're we need to take out some swagging people, and uh, this guy is gonna get us fucking killed. But uh, do you know where they might be, or a shipwreck, or someplace the fucking leader? As you're asking about it? the Sahagan, I'm gonna roll to see if he has a panic attack. Oh no, poor thing. I hope he, he keeps does. It together. <laughs> he keeps it together. Are you want to come with us? Um, Marnus is like, I haven't set foot in the water since I got here. Yeah, I, that's what I, I meant. Again, therapist. This is therapy. Marnus, come with us. No, no, I think I'll stay here. Um, you might have better luck talking to the fishermen. They go out, and they would probably know about shipwrecks in the area, and 
I kind of thought that the Sagan wouldn't uh, wouldn't show up here, but uh, since it's not really their territory, and kind of thought that maybe I'd never have to see them again. But you know, I guess you I were guess wrong. Don't uh, don't always go to plan. Um, I need to get well, something from downstairs, oh. so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Um, yeah, the fishermen. They probably they probably have a better idea of. Uh, or maybe the mayor. The mayor probably keeps track of of that sort of thing. And I, 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 I gotta, I gotta go. Brina is gonna try to distract her. Brina knows panic attack. He's gonna be like, sorry, you were wrong. Same as you were wrong when you were like, guys, we can get this Shahagin all by yourselves. So remember that you were wrong again. Um, Danica. He's off, he's wrong. Danica, Reina, and Kappa make a perception check. Oh boy. Oh, this poor guy. I feel so bad. God, so bad this time. Ooh, that way. Okay, Kappa. I'm so glad and... I didn't go in. Kappa and Danica, you hear faint sobbing from down below. Oh God, you guys are just evil. Oh, it's fine. Aragon is fucking Rex people. Uh, and we're going to slip right into the hot dwarf outside. I just saw him run to the pier. Ah, thanks. Okay, that's fine. Argunis didn't even do a perception check because he wasn't paying attention to this. He's just like, <laughs> that's, why, that's why I didn't ask you for one. <laughs> <laughs> should, we, right, should we talk to the mayor or the fisherman? Who, who's more likely the to The mayor. Open? You just want to bang a dwarf. Yes, but and yeah. let's go. Let's see what happens when this goes. Let's go. Leave this guy alone. Let's leave this place. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, Hi, Marva. Go we'll talk to the mayor first. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys back to the big map. Uh, if you go up to talk to the mayor, the mayor is home. Uh, he'll let, they'll answer the door. And so, uh, my my problem solvers, you you've done great work. Um, what uh, what can I do for you? So you know I'm on the <laughs> Yes. You know of any shipwrecks near where the river would go up to the fucking bully log frog people? Hmm. Well, come inside. Uh and they'll bring you inside and uh sit you down at they have a little meeting table. Um, and, uh, they'll lay out on, on the table is a map of respite and they'll just kind of lay out over the top and start marking where, uh, notable shipwrecks nearby are within the archipelago. Um, there are a couple that are close enough that, uh, you would think, and, uh, the mayor Harbeck will be like, yeah, we, we track shipwrecks pretty heavily we it's really important to know where uh any sort of shoals or dangers are so we're, we're always keeping track if anything goes uh goes bad uh a lot of ships that come through here have special navigation equipment anymore so they can use the light from the lighthouse to uh navigate through so as long as the light is up then uh then they're good Yeah, and the light was never off, right? We can we when uh, when Kenzie gets back, we can just all collectively agree light was always lit, right? It was totally the mayor, lit the whole time. The mayor looks out the window and says, "If I'm not mistaken, it's fading right now." <laughs> God. Uh, Reina, it's it's been about two two and a half hours, and yeah, the light is starting to kind of flicker and fade. Oh God! Let's figure out where the shipwreck is. I'll be back. Okay, Reyna runs to the lighthouse. Um, the rest of you look, and yeah, there are a couple of shipwrecks that are near enough that you think that that might be a uh, jumping off point for the Sahagin. Um, Reyna, we can look? we can say if you want to make your uh, make a check to cast one of those uh, spells. Did I? Uh, Rain, if you want to make your Arcana check to cast one of your uh, uh, scroll spells, or if you want uh, to just cast one of your spells. We'll try to cast one of the scroll spells. Okay, what level? I have another fifth level, right? Uh-huh. 
Okay, yeah, I'll try that again. Could I slap a guidance on her before she leaves and hold concentration? Uh, yeah, I would allow that. <laughs> you look like you would need all the help you can get. I know. Oh, that's uh, much better. Uh, okay, go. yeah, with a 22, you are able to pretty easily cast this in. Uh, you try and cast telekinesis into this uh, crystal, uh, and it does the same thing where it just kind of draws the power of the spell out from you as uh, as you cast it. And uh, what what color does it light up there now? This one is bright blue. Very okay, you're feeling you're blue. feeling a little better. <laughs> you're not as panicked. Uh, the solid bright blue of the lighthouse is back. How far? How long will it take a boat to get to these shipwrecks? Uh, the ones that uh, you're pointing out to the mayor's like ah, there are a few hours, maybe tops. If you've got a reasonably fast vessel, you could probably get there in two-ish hours. The nice thing about this harbor is that it's is that it's nice and deep, so there's not a lot of shoal uh, shoal danger nearby. You have to kind of go out a little bit to get to it. Yeah, I have something that's nice and deep, though, if you're into that. Kappa, Kappa can you find these shipwrecks looking at these maps? Uh, uh, Kappa, you're pretty confident that you could do that. Yeah, um, the Breakwind can make it. Aragunas, make me a charisma roll. Persuasion yeah. again. Persuasion, coming through. Ooh, Come on, no! Not a great, not a great persuasion. Uh, the mayor no. kind of looks. The the mayor eyeballs you up and down. Is like, I mean, eh. <laughs> He's just like, oh no, that is not a noise I like from a woman. Well, I mean, I've I've had I, worse, I guess, but like, I will bring you the head of a. Shahogan, and then, you know, as a mating ritual. You bring me the head of a Sahagan leader, uh, and that might uh, boost your chances, and they'll wink at you. A head for a head? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> oh. but does the mayor have I'm any sorry, kids? Tom. I am sorry. I'll... When we did curse and tried to even send me a message, be like, yeah, I did like don't, heavy dogs. Don't dinner. lie to me. <laughs> don't lie that you're sorry. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I know you're not. Awesome. Um, okay. Does the mayor have any kids? The mayor does not have any children. Hey, uh, That's yeah. probably a good thing. Hey, mayor. Question mm -hmm. for you. Um, yes. I mean, I've seen you. You've been around here for a while. I don't see any offspring. Um, is there a reason for that? I don't know how dwarfs work or anything. I mean, do you breed? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the mayor smiles. You had to get that in. The mayor smiles and says, oh, don't you know? Dwarves are born in the caves. They just come straight out of the mountain, out of the rock. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, yeah. You pretty yeah, much are hard, hard, hard all the time. Hmm. Well, you'll have to find out sometime. <laughs> Come on, pencil dick, let's go. Um, <laughs> as you guys make your way down to... Or you're staying the night, that's right. Um, mm -hmm. As you guys wind down for the day, um, several things are going to happen. Um, Reyna... You are the target of a sending spell. Ooh. Ooh, now, okay. if I'm not mistaken, sending just works. Uh, let me mm -hmm. check. Yeah, it's only as long as you know the person. Yeah, unless you're off uh, uh, ex uh, different dimension or a different uh, thing. I thought it goes Plane. through dimension. I think there's a 5% chance you, that it won't. You can send the message across any distance, even to other planes, but right. if the target is on a different plane than you, you have a 5% chance that the message does not work. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, Reyna, you are the target of a sending spell. Uh, and does it... 
Recognize you. Okay, yeah. It's KZ. KZ is trying to contact you. Uh, and Let the answering says, machine take it up. Raina? <laughs> Raina, are you there? I answer? Did she just waste a sending spell to ask if they were there? Uh, KZ is... Raina, you are by yourself at this point, but uh, KZ can cast all manner of, of sending spells. Ah. Casey's not worried about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yes, Professor, I'm here. I, I'm here. Hi. Thank you for the uh, book. Oh, you found the book. That's funny. Um, hey, I think I didn't quite mention on my way out. Don't touch the crystal unless you're casting a spell on it. Uh, uh, thank you, Professor. I'll I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, it. I mean, I should have known. If you're touching it and not giving it something, it'll it'll drain you dry. Um, I'm I've never tried, but I'm pretty sure it would kill you if it drained all your magic. Oh, sounds about right. Yeah, so, yeah, Professor. Yeah, thank you. Don't don't do that. Um. Just always be prepared to cast. You haven't, uh, you haven't had any issues, have you? It's been good. No, no issues, Professor. I, I can handle it. I followed your instruction. <laughs> yep. Oh, that wasn't obvious at all. Uh, requested. I don't know. That's not bad. It's not Key. bad, but it's not good enough. <laughs> no, I, I assumed not. Casey is quiet for some time. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be back soon. I probably will have to leave again at some point, but I, I'm sure that we can make this work. Um, look, just don't hurt yourself, all right? It's 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 important not to underestimate the power of the item you're using, right? Yes, yes, professor. Um Okay. I'll be I'll be great. I I got it. I understand. I I did did mispronounce a word in the spell, but I figured it out. Uh Oh, oh, you got to watch out for that. Yeah, it's it's been great though. I've got it all under control. I'm sure, sure you do. Hey, th uh, just uh, when are you coming back, though? Just you know, um, not that I'm counting down the days or anything, because I can't handle it. But also, when? Um, soon. I mean, I'm working what? on some really weird oh. stuff here. So, I mean, I'm mad that Godfrey came to get me, but now that I'm here, I am enjoying the work. So you know, it's kind of a catch-22 where I really have to pretend like I'm not having fun, but this is some really interesting stuff here. Ooh. Oh, well, I, I'd be interested to, to hear all about it when you get back. Okay, mm. I'll see you in the morning. I mean, sometime. Okay, bye! <laughs> Casey, Casey cast like 17 sending spells <laughs> during that <laughs> process. Um, okay. Um, we are then going to cut over to Kappa. Uh, Kappa, are you going home or are you staying in town? Uh, probably going home. Okay. Because we uh, need to use that map. If you go home, then I will take you to Kappa's home map. Yeah! And it is on fire. Not yet. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, and then I'll have Kappa and then I'll just have the party so y'all can see what's going on and activate ooh very nice map I like it thank you uh, alright Kappa you are, are approaching your home Ooh, it's got doors and everything. Yeah, walls, doors. 
giant weird, furniture? A weird corner over here for no reason whatsoever? Don't worry about that corner. <laughs> uh, you go in and you see your sister. Uh, she has just made some food and is setting it at this table with its massive chairs. Uh, and she turns and she's like, Kappa! Kappa, where have you been? And she'll come up and wrap you in a big hug. Ah! Oh, so hot and muscular. Yeah. She mm. is she is definitely bigger than Kappa. She is. Is she bigger she... than me? How tall are you? Good question. I don't know. Let me look. Did I even put that in my description? Let me put it this way. Kappa got more of like the half work side of things. She definitely got more of the Oni side of things. Gotcha. So she's uh, big. Yeah, it's about five ten ish. Oh yeah, she's tall. she's way bigger than you. <laughs> she's big. She's big. Girl. Um, hi. Yeah. So, uh, I. Ow. Uh, actually, Kappa, have you ever brought Crixus here? Probably once or twice. Okay. Probably not. Uh, like, probably like if Crixus is like, hey, you know, I don't really want to stay at home tonight. He's like, well, you can come over to my place. Okay. Uh, yeah. Crixus G is A, much taller than you and probably as muscular. Like, she is jacked. So you guys have definitely arm wrestled on that table. Yeah. The rest of you aren't actually here. I just put the token out so that you could see. So Kappa is Kappa is alone here with his family. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Kappa as a quick tour of your home. Uh, your little fresh water supply is here. Your kitchen station is over here. Table is obviously here. And uh, where your mom is is over here. Yeah. Uh, so I was over fighting a bunch of Sahagin at a village because we needed flowers for the potions for mom. Oh, oh, okay. Did you get more potion? I mean, she's... She hasn't gotten better, but she hasn't gotten worse than the last time you were here. She's just kind of weak, but she is mm -hmm. kind of conscious here and there. I don't have more yet. It'll take Opal some time to make them. Um, plus, I have another journey to go on tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to try to track down where the Sahagin live and take them out once and for all so they don't make it to the village. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. That's probably Yeah, good. don't need random fishermen disappearing and all that trouble that comes with it. No, no, um, I guess I'll stay with Mom, and uh, if you bring more of that potion, then we'll see. I, I mean, it worked pretty well the first time. I wonder. I I, I don't I don't know if it'll just keep working or or what. But at least she talks now and then. Like, God, she was just unconscious the whole time. That was pretty rough. Yeah. No, Opal thinks it will keep working. Um, and obviously, if it doesn't, we'll figure it out from there. But at least for now, it should. Okay. Keep her with us somewhat. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll just, I'll just keep, keep taking care of her. You keep, you keep working on, working on your stuff. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, one day I find a permanent cure. But until then, this is the best we got. Yeah. Do you want to go over and talk to your mom, or see how she's doing? Rather, uh, I would probably ask if she was awake or not. Um, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. Um, she was a little bit ago, then she drifted back off. I think moving still hurts her, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I guess I'm gonna go check on her real fast before I eat whatever poison my sister made. Okay, your sister goes back to the table. Uh, you see that she puts down this massive plate of what looks like probably ribs. You're not sure where she got them, but uh, she just goes to town on these ribs. Like uh, pork ribs or like human ribs or... Yes. You've never <laughs> known your sister to eat humans, but that's a thing that Oni do, so... 
I totally won't. totally gonna hit on your sister when we're there. <laughs> okay. Um, you walk over to where your mom is laying in the bed there, and uh, if you approach, her eyes will kind of flutter open, and you'll see her smile a little bit. And as she does, she kind of winces in pain, and she's like, "Oh, Kappa, good to see you. Good to see you, son." Yes, it's uh, it's good to see you too. Finally awake. Oh, sometimes I do my best. Well, uh, yeah, I, I'm doing my best too, trying to find, you know, some way to help you get better. Any news of your father? Not yet. Um, most people around here haven't seen him in a while, and I haven't yet gotten a ship big enough to sail to the different lands and check there, but hopefully your, soon. Uh, your sister's given up on him. I, I know she has. She won't tell me, but I know she has. It's good that you haven't. I mean, how could I? I don't think he would actually just leave us. I still believe he went out to find something and just got lost. <laughs> oh, your father, as he would say, is never lost. He's just finding somewhere new. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. Very true. You can see that her breathing kind of becomes a little bit more labored, and her eyes kind of sh they shut for some time, like like she may have just kind of passed out for a little bit, and then they flutter back open, like she's trying so hard to stay awake and talk to you. Um, but yeah, she is definitely fading. Listen, uh, I'll be here for the night. You you get some rest, though, okay? That's good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, and just right as soon as you say that, her eyes just shut, and she's she's asleep. Ah! <laughs> Emotional backstory. No. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. And yeah, because so I guess I'm gonna go eat ribs with my sister and just kind of spend the night with her in here. Uh, you reach for some of her ribs, and she's like, ah, ah. "Oh, I guess I guess you can have a couple." <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you expect me to eat? I mean, I made this I made exactly the amount of ribs that I wanted. <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly that. the amount that I wanted. Okay. And she tosses you a rib. She's like, alright, mm -hmm. fine. Have have a rib. One rib is probably as much as you were gonna eat anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. You are you are not that near as big as she is. They're like Flintstone ribs. Uh, they are not, but she would definitely be stoked to have some dinosaur ribs. <laughs> she probably eat about ten of those. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, we are gonna cut. Let me put you guys back on the city map. Before we go to sleep, so ask Rain if we should put some spells in the ring again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, good uh, Good call. I think the only spell still left in it is sleep. I'm tracking it right. So we can put some more in. We put all healing spells again? I think that's a idea if you can spare two healing words again um i can do two uh, cure wounds and two healing words does anybody else have maybe do a couple cure wounds and a couple healing words i yeah. mean does anybody else yeah. have cure wounds i have a healing word no. but yeah i can throw that in or... is this on the butter uh, i could do two cure wounds so we could have two cure wounds and two healing words in there uh, it's it's on the ring of spell storing is what they're using. Okay, oh. times two cure. cure to close the times two. <laughs> okay, and then sleep still in there. I think that's all we can do. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, 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 yep. yep. And then long rest. Uh, yep. Go ahead and take your long rest. If there's anything else anyone wants to do before the long rest, uh, now is the time.
I just wanted to go like as we were le- everyone was leaving from the mayor's. I kind of wanted to hang back and try to talk to him real quick, and then I want to go to the uh, pot shop. But okay. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah. What do you want to talk to the mayor about? Hey, uh, mayor. Uh, now that everyone's mm-hmm. gone, you know those uh, uh, weird people that were searching for uh, somebody. I mean, I don't see Sit him down, anymore. Hello? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you sit down. Mayor sits across from you and is like, "You think, uh, you think they found what they were looking for?" I mean, they're not here anymore, so they either found it or did it. I guess that's the uh, A or B. Mm, the question of the hour, I guess it would be. I mean, I mean, they, they kind of briefly said, but like, why were they looking for uh, the, the weird, the weird thing? I forget what they said it was, but it was something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, well, Dresdrum. I don't know if you know that that was his name, but that was the dwarf in town. Um, Dresdrum was paid an obscene amount of money to find this person. Now, I can think of a few people who can throw that kind of money around. And none of them are the type of people I would want to be on the bad side of. Right, right, gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Right, right, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, why, why... Now, why... before you say anything else... Yeah? I would suggest that you keep your line of questioning careful. See, I'm always looking for information for, like, songs and stuff, right? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I, I go I'm through... sure that this would make a great epic. Right, 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 right. Kind of a sad song, you know, like, uh, Songs of the Night. Mm. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm still working on things. But uh, I just want to see uh, if they found what they're looking for, or why in particular they were looking for that person, paying money. You know, all these things go into a good ditty. Dresdrum keeps most things close to the vest. He did tell me that there are multiple people on his list, and he has found some of them. Uh, I mean, what kind of son of them? Like, were they all, like, other humans like me? Or were they, like, other, like, hobgoblins and things like, like, like that? He didn't get into the specifics. Oh, okay. I mean, was there any more of those, uh... Oh, uh, what was he calling them? Uh, Air Genesis or something like that? Mm, I think that's exactly it. I think you nailed it. Yeah, because I've never seen one of them. I kind of want to see what they look like. Mm. He seemed uh, pretty intense. He I is. Mean, he e- is. Even though uh, we got buildings, he was still intense. The mayor cracks a <laughs> wide smile. I like you, Molo. Yeah, I like I you hope, too. I hope nothing bad happens to you. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I don't have enough material for for the night, and I kind of just go with the, go with the flow. But uh, that's about. Uh, I mean, you see this crossbow? It does say Shilhagen Slayer on it. You know, the good old SS. I can barely see it through the tie dye, but I I guess it's there. I mean, they're. I mean, yes, they are look like lightning bolts. I understand this. I make it more clear. Uh, you're kind of getting a little... You know what? Let me let me make a minor adjustment to that. <laughs> Mayor Harbeck absolutely erases the SS <laughs> off of your crossbow. <laughs> Says that might send the wrong kind of signals there, Molo. I'd, uh, again, I'd hate to see anything bad happen to you. Yeah. What, you if might... Nazis exist here? <laughs> You mean we're not just shot Stoffel? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, the last elf emperor was basically elf Hitler, but. <laughs> All right. So they found what they're looking for. Is that what I'm understanding? Uh, they won't be back. Uh, no one here has to worry about anything. Cool. I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good. Get some rest, Molo. <laughs> you look pretty injured, and I think you need it. Um, and I just want to make a quick trip down to uh, Elksy's if I can. Okay. Uh, you walk into... Uh, do you want me to put you on the map? Nah, I don't think we need it. 
Okay. Uh, you go down. Ilksy sees you walk in and says, Ah, Mo! Hey, one thing. First of all, yep. thank you for the crossbow. That worked well. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was, you know, I definitely put it uh, through its test. Um, so here's five extra gold for that because, uh, because I like you. Molo, you coming on to me? I mean, we can make it range, man. No one dislikes the smell of baby batter, but... Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> we can <laughs> test it out. You're about the right height. Seems like maybe not true. <laughs> Just took a sip of my drink right when you said that. It about came out my nose. Um, but another thing, uh, when I'm around people, don't ask me about those powders. Uh, but I am actually curious about those powders now. So what do you have? Uh, she kind of gets a sly look and she says, I got a little bit of all the colors. What are you looking for? What, what do we have going on special today? For you, Molo, everything on special. Uh, hmm. just, it's I, a little detail. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, I was hoping you would say, here, this is for you. Here's a gift. Um, I could take no, no. some more. Of that when have I ever given you anything for free? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, your presence is always a gift for me, but, uh... Oh, it's working, Molo. Uh, let's see. I could probably take some more of the yellow. All uh, right. She has two doses of the yellow. Doses. Same price, or am I getting a Molo discount? You get a little Molo discount. There'll be one gold less little. than normal. One gold less? Mm -hmm. All right, well, how about I take a blue and a yellow? She gives you a blue and a yellow. Okay. Um, What about some of the green leaf? Uh, they start to seem to like that. Oh, yeah, we got lots of green leaf. Uh, she reaches into the big majestic pot and pulls out a bunch of green leaf. Okay. Uh, how many do you want? Just give me four. Ah, You're looking five for a dime bag. You're yeah. looking for what do you what do you look for? Uh, uh, five five should be good. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. So what is the grand total now? Oh damn it! Uh, <laughs> grand total is on my spreadsheet. She has a spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, I am proficient in Excel, of course. <laughs> I mean, how would you not be? I'm a store owner. <laughs> uh, there we go. Come here, spreadsheet. Open. Okay, so you need 18. So you need 18 gold pieces and five silver pieces. And he's going to hand her 13 gold and five silver. But like, ah, here you go. Make me a sleight of hand <laughs> check, and she's going to roll at advantage. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20 is enough. Uh, she's like, okay, this definitely checks out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you are my favorite, and good doggy. You are my favorite, too. <laughs> you uh, you bring your blue friend by any time. Uh, yes. Abadee, abadoo, abadee. Yeah. <laughs> your blue friend he looks like uh, he needs something to wear and I got something just the right size <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I know what that means I am worried <laughs> I am worried <laughs> uh, alright I shall okay. see you when we come back from uh, taking care of more Shahagans and their bosses and whatever else we have uh, under this protection squadron. Okay, sounds <laughs> good. Um, all right. Does anybody want to do anything else before we take our long rest? So, our Goonies wants to go to the to the um, Harangon family. Okay. He's, right there. <laughs> He's, He's going to be like. Kid, kid, come out. Come out, kid. Uh, 
the the mom absolutely puts the kid behind her. It's like, oh, you again. What can like, we do yes. for you? Like, lady, lady, I just wanted to say two things which are very important. One thing is you live in the water and there's cha hogging coming and I cannot have you be killed before I can reverse your curse. So you shouldn't be living in the water, especially the child, because the child wants to come hang out with me. So he needs to practice with his little mace that he has in his hand. So the next time when I come back, he can join me on adventures. It's going to be like, child, child, keep practicing, child. Make me a I... persuasion check. Pretty good, though. 12. Okay. Ah, uh, as soon as the you mention that there's Sahagan in the area, the dad gets out of the boat and up onto the uh, onto the dock, and they say, "How many? Where? When did you see them? When did you see the the, the beasts?" We saw them in another place, but uh, you know, they were. They were in with the bullywogs, but uh, if you live on the water, maybe don't live on the water for now. Move inland because well, as we ugly have a as house you are. In town. Yeah, well, then why do you well, always we... hang out in your boat? Like we're fisher, we we fish. We're fisher people. You know, if you want to get rid of your curse, you're yeah. not going to find the cure in the water. You should oh my really God, like. We're not, we're not so cursed. I really... It's fine. The... I really need you to tell your your dolphin friend that to stop bringing us gross fish also that's so you're a fisherman and he's bringing you fish and that upsets you you need to really take not a hard bringing look us at fish that we can eat though that's we have to sell these fish in market oh yeah yeah he does he likes the rotten fish yeah i thought maybe part of your part of your curse is that you can eat rotten fish okay i, I will explain it to <laughs> I'm gonna I make a, I'm gonna make a quick athletics check for Botox. Uh, yeah, Botox does like a double backflip out of the water over the dock and spits a piece of rotten fish into the guy's face, and just like. You no, know, Botox, they just don't appreciate you. Next time, just scare all the fish away so that they can't fish very well. He's speaking like beast or whatever. <laughs> He's like, yeah, don't worry. I'm sure you're an amazing fisherman. Okay. Um, and then oh he's going to be like, this, this you should, person, you should. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, go, go, go ahead. <laughs> he's like, so you should not be living in your boat anymore. No, Please. we're going to our, our home. Like, right. We, you know, we don't live on the boat. We, we live in town. We just take the boat out during the day to catch fish. And He's going to we... give him a pearl from his necklace. He's going to be like, here you go. Please buy yourself a house. I hope this is enough. The woman's like, she takes it. She's like, you know what? Thank you. You're great. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm working on your thing. So for his second thing, he's going to go to Opal. Where's Opal? Uh, Opal is way over here. Okay. He's going to go up there and tell her that he's looking for a potion to remove a curse. He's not going to tell her what curse. Uh, okay. She say, oh my god, a, a something to remove curse? That's pretty yeah. advanced, uh, it's pretty advanced stuff. I, I mean, I could maybe, if I stop working on these water breathing potions, then I could probably get something. I mean, ah, uh, maybe. I don't know if I even have the right supplies for those. Like, don't worry, this is more of a long-term thing. First we do the water breathing, then I will help my friends with their curse. Okay. So, just to be just to reiterate, water breathing, red flower potion, then see if I can do something about removing a curse. Yeah, I I suppose I will check I will check with the other guy how much he likes his mother first, so maybe it hold on. It seems like that. quite a bit. <laughs> seems like he likes her a lot. Okay, okay. Then then okay. I I will check and confirm with you. Okay, that sounds good. He's gonna uh, go to bed. Okay, you can go back down to the drowned man. <laughs> Sleep there. Um, as you go to bed for the night, um, 
Danica, you've still got a uh, you've still got a room in the Darkstone paid for by the mayor since you've been being helpful around town. Um, you and Vaughn are sharing that room, and Vaughn gets into his bed and just like immediately falls asleep, like like he's had a rough day. Okay. Uh, and in that case, you guys all get a long rest. Hooray. I'm, uh, I'm swapping out cantrips too, which I can now do. So I'm swapping out cantrips too, just. Okay. I'm getting rid of firebolt since you said fire spells underwater. Not good. Uh, yeah. Anything submerged in water has resistance to fire. Or it just won't be as good. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to swap that one out then. Okay. Uh, you all get up in the morning. Uh, the night passes uneventfully. Uh, Reyna, you open your eyes and Casey is standing over you, just staring at you. Oh, God. Hi, Professor. What kind of a spell did you put in the lighthouse before you went to bed? Uh, one of the one of the the ones you you left me um to mm -hmm, tell mm -hmm. Kinesis, I believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fifth level, good choice for uh, for some time there. Uh, probably not great for overnight. Uh, cause the crystal was definitely out when I got here. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna sit up and like. I took like, care of it. I took care of like it. Dash over the head as I like jump out of bed. <laughs> I I took care of it. The light's good now. Sorry, Professor. I tried. I uh, I I was just a little worried um, about casting that six level spell because I I did have some difficulty earlier. Um, and I was kind of saving that six level for like an emergency. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I sorry. I was up late reading and I forgot to check. Well, it's all right. I'm sure that nobody crashed their ship in the night while they were relying on the lighthouse. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm back for a while here. So, uh, you know what? I've, I've got it. Oh, oh, good. Um, g good. Uh, are you leaving anytime soon or no? Hopefully. See. No. They might need me back at the university again, but we'll see. Okay, okay. Well, if you were to, um, you know, have to leave suddenly or leave, um, could you maybe write a few more scrolls down? Because I may have used um, two of them. Uh, Her eyes go wide. You only cast two spells into the crystal the whole time I was gone? <laughs> 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 Sorry. No, absolutely not. I use my own spells to supplement and only use the big spells for long periods of time. It was lit basically the whole time, except the t when you got back and it wasn't lit. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Sure hope nobody crashed their ship and died, but you know what? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I'm sure they didn't, because like I said, lit, lit pretty yeah. much the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what were you working on? Uh, when uh, you were gone? some interesting artifacts that uh, recently came into the university. It's a bit technical, so I'll save you the, the details. I'm sure you have things to do today. Ooh, and she what? is going to walk down the stairs to her desk. Oh, uh, what about me? Says I don't want to hear about technical stuff. I need to correct that right away. Oh, oh, she absolutely knows you want to hear about the technical stuff. <laughs> I'm going to just jump out of bed and then realize I'm in my pajamas and be like, ah, and then change really fast and then run downstairs. Okay, as you head for the door, she says, oh, do you have my ring? <laughs> um, your ring. 
Um, which, which one? She turns around and she gives you the disappointed mom look. And she's like, yeah. I think you know what I'm talking about. I, I, I do. I'm sorry, Professor. But you see, the people I'm with, you've met them. You've seen them. And um, there's only what really one who uh, who heals. And she's a little bit crazy. And uh, I haven't filled with healing spells at the moment. Um, you can certainly have it back, but just know the last time we went out, we all almost died, and I was just trying to be prepared, and then I'll just, like, very slowly remove it, waiting for her to stop me. Not gonna stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's off your finger, she telekineses it over to her hand, and, and she just kind of looks at it, and she's like, what'd you put in it? Uh, so, uh, two healing words, uh, a cure wounds, and then, uh, a sleep. You know, because, again, the healing thing, um, we, we, and when I say we, I mean, I tend to die, um, frequently. I think you've, you've noticed. What times? Uh, she telekineses it back to you, and she'll say, you can have it for one more day. One. One. Uh, one more day or one more mission? When you get back this evening, I'll take it off no. your hands. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Um, yeah, you I'll... know I use it a lot, right? Like, that's why I have it. Yeah, I know. It's very powerful. I looked up its history. I read all about the instructions. Um even in the uh, the instructions in other languages. Do you know how um, many times I had to cast sending yesterday? It would have been so much easier if I could have put some in a ring of spell storing. Uh, yeah. Um, you could also say more words per each sending, I think, too. But um, you were kind but then of. But it's not very conversational. I, I just I really have a hard time talking to somebody like that. I really prefer to just cast sending over and over and over again. And then I use a little arcane recovery, get my slots back, and then I can cast it a few more times. Um, I yeah, did have to steal good. one of Godric, Godric's potions. Of You notice that she interchanges his name all the time. Sometimes Godfrey, <laughs> sometimes Godric. <laughs> uh, so I had to steal a couple of his potions that, you know, grant you some of that back just so you know we could we could really have a conversation oh yeah because we're we're so good at conversating all i know time. right right and of course i had to call finn and ask how his boat designs are going um hmm. so you know i drank a lot of potions yesterday like a lot Probably a dangerous amount, really. Yeah, yeah, they'll they'll creep up on you. You gotta gotta watch out for that. That that heartburn will come get you on a couple she, of those. She burps and a little bit of blue liquid comes out the side of her mouth. She's like, ah, yeah, gross. I will promise I will get you this ring back as soon as possible. Great. Um, and I hey, will keep now. the lighthouse lit. Mm, I'll keep the lighthouse lit. Yeah, when you're gone, I I mean, hmm. I'll do I'll do better. She starts, she starts writing some stuff on her desk. Hey, bye. Just gonna go into the ocean and kill some swagons now. Any advice would be great. Okay, bye. Don't use fire. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I did read that. Uh, already replaced my spells. Slowly creep out the door, waiting to see if she'll say anything else. She absolutely does not. <laughs> I know. Then I'll get outside. Okay. I'll try and catch uh, up with else. Do you guys want to meet up on Kappa's boat? Sure. Or does anybody need to do anything in town before we go? I would have left a few minutes for everybody else to paint break window in the back of it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we all thought it was going to be Aragunas, but it's actually Danica who's going to be killed by the party. <laughs> What? It's still 50 50, honestly. <laughs> I uh, think Aragunas is leaning. That's, he's a heavy favorite. Uh, 
you guys are on uh, Kappa's little dinghy here. Uh, Aragunas, you and Botox swim in the water. And you guys yeah, make so when way. they get there, Aragunas is going to look at Kappa and be like, Kappa, we're stealing your boat. <laughs> Great. Let me yes. just hold the sail and we'll just steal it away then. Yeah, steal your yes. own boat. Yeah. Yes. So he's going to just be like, we're going to just need to give you some help because you guys look like this boat is low as fuck. So he's going to cast shape water and just kind of like try to like push it with, with that. Uh, oh, did we get the potions yeah, from that? Right. No, oh, nobody yeah, wanted to we... go check on the potions, so... <laughs> yeah, I noticed that, but I figured out like, Gunis wouldn't care. He'd be like, well, I can breathe. <laughs> Do you guys want to go talk to Opal? Yes. Please. Why is okay. there a child with a fill? Is that child just following us everywhere now? You want to yeah, that's Vaughn. He's usually our mascot. Yeah, he's been... He's gone everywhere with us so far. He's very tough. Uh, he can watch in... the boat while we go murder people. Yeah, I'm great at boat tending. And he trips and falls on the boat. <laughs> um, Tied under your piece of wood. You go. Yeah, he still has. He still has some wood, and like he kind of practices getting under the seats uh, and putting the wood over the top like a plank, like like this. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. You guys go to Opal to see what she's got, and I'm going to make a roll to see how many potions she has made. Did we, did we already grab the uh, four from last night? Or we just yeah, so you already have the four that she gave you. Uh, and wow, she did good. Uh, you get an additional four. Oh, nice. Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Uh, yeah, so you guys have eight potions of water breathing. And they... Okay, so we each take one. Each take one. Maybe give one of the extras to, to Vaughn, just in case he falls in and drowns, so he doesn't drown. Okay, mm -hmm. so Vaughn has one. Uh... Who who has more than one? Who should carry the extras? Not Aragonis. I don't I don't want your potions because potions are for you guys because you can't breathe. And also, I feel like bringing the child as bait is a great idea. So, kudos. Uh, Botox goes up to the side of the boat and opens his mouth and is like. <laughs> uh. Maybe maybe Raina. Maybe Raina take them. She's a responsible adult. Yeah, okay. that's that's a good call for all of us. So everybody has one. Or uh Danica, Crixis, Molo, Kappa, and Raina each have one. Um that's five. So then and then Raina has three extras. Or two extras oh, Vaughn. because Vaughn. Vaughn what it, yeah, Vaughn. Okay. All right, cool. So maybe um, we'll go, and then Aragunas could sneak down and, and scout, and if he sees stuff, then we drink the potion, and we do the murder. Okay. <laughs> so, Brady. I'm gonna need Kappa. Kappa make a, uh... Ooh, what kind of a check would this be to drive your boat? You're proficient in water vehicles, right? Yes, I am proficient in water vehicles. Okay, so roll me, I guess, a dex check with advantage. Ooh, a dex check with advantage. Sixteen. Okay, uh, you are able to maneuver your boat pretty well. You know your boat well, so uh, you can maneuver just fine. Uh, you and Aragunas more or less know the way that you want to go to a approximately where the uh, shipwreck that you're looking for is. Um, once you get into the vicinity, uh, Aragunas, give me a perception check. Okay. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Aragunas, uh, you're looking around and you're like, God, it should be right here. Like, we should be. Maybe the mayor has marked it wrong or something. He's going to be like, Well, guys, sorry. The mayor obviously gave us the wrong thing. 
can't be hot and smart. Take notes. Oh, God Thank damn you. None okay. of you have the problem. Can I stick my head in the water and take a look? Uh, nope, because something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I just want to point out that Raina is all but lashed herself to the main sail. The little so, one sail. Like, she's just lashed herself to the sail and is not moving. A fun one, fact... Your woods. A fun fact is that uh, Botox got a two for his perception check. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So Botox. Botox doesn't see this either, coming up from the depths. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to have everybody roll initiative. Oh, okay. And the things that are in the water will get a surprise round. Oh boy, that good old board of initiative coming back for Kappa. Yeah, he is. Oops. Mine's so bad. So, Even nothing? with a plus five, Kappa, come on. <laughs> Why didn't did mine not go through? Uh, look like uh, it. Nope, I don't see oh, it. Hey, hey, Tom. Uh, yes. Quick question. Yes. Um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, crossbows work okay in water. Just they can't. They have. They only go through their normal range, right? They don't get disadvantage. Yeah, you. Yeah, if you go beyond their regular range, they get nothing. Right, but I still don't. That's one of those that doesn't get disadvantage for being in the water and shooting it. Right. Okay. Yeah, it does not get disadvantage. It's an uh, auto miss past its range. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, Crixus, you are actually first. So, Crixus, make me a perception check. There you go. Good. Go well. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I like, really was, was really not counting on you guys doing this bad with your perception checks. Sailing away. Don't worry about nothing. Right. So, um, the dice ones were the dice ones. <laughs> you add right, them together, Crixus, you still don't get a 10. <laughs> Crixus, you don't see anything, but you just feel a little on edge with Aragunas in the water. I mm. guess. Uh, all feel a man, he's like, ah, he's in the water, he's got it. I don't really care. Fortuitously, it is now one of their turns, so, uh, Aragunis, you get attacked from below. Okay. Uh, Aragunis, does a dirty 20 hit you? Yeah, a 13 hits me, so. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Aragunis, you are gonna take five piercing damage as a Sahagin stabs you. They're here! They're here, guys! Uh, and then he's gonna try and bite you. Don't bite me. Oh no, not the bites! And he still gets advantage because you do not have all your HP. Uh, that is gonna be a 13 to hit for 2 damage. Thanks! I hate this. Okay. Do you speak their language? Like, I would... What do they like? Do they speak anything like weird? Uh, they they speak Sahagin. Like I would speak like Triton language. I'm gonna say that there are some similarities between those two languages. So like you can kind of communicate like basic ideas. Um, and you can see him snapping his jaws in your face. Uh, and uh. Just kind of yelling in your face, going, Gonna get ya! Gonna get ya! Get ya! Get ya! Uh, that'll bring oh, us to Molo. Another. Uh, do I <laughs> see this, or uh, can I see if there, it's, that's the only one, or do I see more? Make a perception check. Ooh, 17. And actually, that's all you're going to be able to do on your turn because it is a surprise round, but you do see that there is one more. So Molo is no longer surprised. Aragunis, there's, there's you are no Molo. longer surprised. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go ahead, Molo. Uh, hey, uh, there's there's at least two of those fish people. Uh, Aragunis, no longer surprised. Danica, yeah. no longer surprised. Reyna, no longer surprised. Kappa, no longer surprised. Uh, it is now this guy's turn, and he is going to try and stab Aragunis. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I, I'm not attacked. <laughs> uh, Aragunis, that is an 18 to hit. Yeah. For three piercing damage. 
Thank and you. then the bite is a 19 to hit for five piercing damage. They hit us a lot harder. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, like they're hitting you a lot, but they're rolling shit on their damage. Yeah, they rolled a lot better against us last time. Uh, yeah. Crixus, you see two uh two Sahagan attacking your good friend Aragunas. Uh, the... I mean, that that's that's a stretch. <laughs> Uh, how deep does this water look? Pretty deep? Oh, the deep, it's pretty deep. You can't how, see the bottom. How long does that potion last? An hour. Okay, not gonna use it. Can I, like, jump in the water, but yet, like, are they underwater or are they floating? They're at the top of the water, but if you are in the water and try and swing your axe, it's not gonna no, like I have the, the spear thing. Yeah, so okay. He's got yeah, his pokey should... stick. I got my pokey stick. Yeah, so that would be so, fun. But like I won't like sink straight to the bottom. No. Okay. You don't wear any armor or anything, right? No, nah, I don't. Yeah, so yeah, you're you don't have a swim speed, but you can swim. You're just not good at it. Okay. Uh I will rage with my bonus action. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I can figure out where that button is. And I will jump and spear this guy. Okay. Uh, I think I need to update my thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, Oh, yeah, Ooh. that'll do it. Yep, yep, yep. Woohoo! Uh, okay. So... so you are at... So it's oh. going to be 10 plus 8... Or no. 10 plus 11, so 21 plus... Okay, yeah, yeah. He's dead. He's super yep. dead. He's super dead. Yep. Right through the face. Uh, yeah, Crixus jumps in the water, and I'm going to say that you jump off of the boat onto him and just kind of drive it down into him. Just go straight through his head and all the way through his ass? Yep. Uh, oh, that's... Reverse Dracula. Because still not number five. Level five. So that'll do it. Okay. Uh, or actually, I'll, kinda, I'll use the rest of my movement to kind of like tread over here. Okay. Uh, you get over there. It is now his turn. Ooh, he's got to make a roll, because you are definitely more of a threat, but they hate Tritons so bad. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have him make a wisdom save. If he fails it, he attacks Aragunas. Making a wisdom save? Uh, he is going to attack Crixus. Uh, Crixus, are you hurt at all? Nope. Nope, not even a little bit. Does 10 hit you? <laughs> I was actually fixing to say I'm actually pretty easy to hit, but not that easy. Okay, the bite is an 18. Yep, that'll definitely hit. Uh, so 5 reduced to 2 piercing damage. Uh, uh, oh. I will yes. use my reaction to stab him. Oh, okay. With Vengeful Assault. Vengeful Assault me, baby. Maybe. Last time I did this, I think I rolled a nat one. Yeah, Ooh, think Almost another crit. Oh. Uh, for a total of eight, eight damage. That was poop damage. One's all around. Uh, okay, that means it's Molo's turn. Uh, Molo's gonna pull out his crossbow like, haha, this is, this is my time to shine. So he's gonna <laughs> cock his, uh, his crossbow, take out a bolt, Lick the shaft, spit on the tip, and shoot it at this uh, Shahagin. God damn it. <laughs> did you do that for maximum penetration value? That's right. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> yep, and, uh, 19 is going to hit. For eight points of piercing. Eight points of penetration damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, still up, so I'm gonna look at uh, Aragunis and be like, hey, show him that you're the devil himself. I'm gonna give you bardic inspiration. Okay. And that's my turn. 
All right. Uh, that will bring us to Aragunas. So Aragunas is going to attack the last guy. And I have Bardic. How much does Bardic Inspiration give me? It's a DC oh, it's a it's a deck save anyway. He has to do a DC thirteen deck save for acid splash. Uh, well, that's shit damage. Uh, well, he only rolled a ten, so he's gonna take it. Okay. Uh, so and... two, two damage. Uh, and Crixus, you see that the acid in the water kind of starts to spread towards you a little bit. <laughs> Do that, like, try to shoot it away and splash it away. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Okay. Try to splash it at him. <laughs> Hit um, him again with it. <laughs> uh, Aragunas, is that it for you? Um, yep. Okay. Danica. Hey, Mola, what do you call a fish with no eyes? Oh, a no. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that, one, that one was pretty good. That one is pretty good. I've read a whole lot of that the entire session. <laughs> Gonna cross that one off my list, but thank you. Uh, we will bring the cowbell. Uh, wisdom save? Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. One damage. Uh, well, he's going to take it because he rolled a five. Yeah, take that fucking one. That's all the damage I can do, apparently. All right. Uh, Vaughn, yeah, looks, you Vaughn looks at you, looks at it, looks back at you, and he's like, did you did you miss? <laughs> Shut up and hide under your boards. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 uh, is that it for you, Danica? Uh, yeah. Okay, Reyna? Okay. <laughs> I super want to take this potion in case something bad happens, but uh, but I'm not going to yet because no one else is. Um, and I am going to cast right now. I'm gonna cast. Um, am I gonna do this? Yeah, because I want to. Fun. I'm gonna cast Mind Sliver Ooh, at the Swagon. So uh, that's... oddly enough, not their worst save. Oh well, <laughs> great. What is your DC? Uh, 14. Ooh, he rolls a 19. Ooh, all right. Does he and take any any damage? Or no, I guess it's a cantrip, so probably not. No, probably not. Nope, don't believe right. so. Point of, Kappa. Uh, real quick, I, since uh, I got third level, I, you can use uh, Bardic Inspiration for damage and healing if you already have it. For uh, okay. magical inspiration, I don't know if uh, Aragunis wanted to use it or not, but it is an option. Okay. Um, oh, Kappa, you've got two options. Um, mm -hmm. You're currently helming the boat, so yep. you can stop doing that and make an attack, or you can maneuver the boat. See, everyone's around it though. Otherwise, I totally maneuver the boat and try to run them over. Okay. But uh. I think I'm going to stop doing that. I'm just going to shoot it. Okay. Because I don't... I don't see anyone else coming, so... 18's going to hit. Oh, yeah, that's going to do it. He did. He did. Uh, and I'm... I'm going to leave you guys in initiative, I think. But you're out of combat right now, just so that we don't do this and then immediately roll initiative again. Unless yeah. you guys would rather do that. No, I like this initiative. Wow. That's fine. Okay. So Aragonis is like, yeah, this is pretty much how all my encounters with Shahagin go, and he's going to cast Cure Wounds on himself you, because you he's looking died? very bloody and near death. <laughs> um. Also, Aragunas, we didn't think about it, but Botox goes on your turn if you want him to do stuff. Oh, yeah, she forgot. Um, so, presumably, the wreck is somewhere very close to you, being as the scouts just attacked you. Yeah. So, uh, is this where we're going to go on the water, guys? Or... 
Is this where we're doing it? Are you doing it? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Take a take a look and see if we can spot the wreck first. I'm gonna. I mean, it has to be nearby. They just attacked. Yeah, I mean, based on the fact that they attacked well, we us, I would imagine they are here. Can I stick my head in the water like and take a look? Scouting, scouting party, so there's no telling where it could be. It could be a little bit down the river from here. You're not in a river. We're, we're in the ocean. My mind. It looks, well, it looks like we're in a river. You're just near sure. some rocks, which is probably what the uh, ship ran into before it sank. Oh, that makes sense. Exactly. Dunk my head in the water and see if I can see the ship. Or I'm going to attempt to start taking a little bit of a short rest if I can manage it. Sure. Just so I can get some stuff back. Get rid um, of my rage and my... Danica, you put your Simple. face in the water. Go ahead and make a perception check. Ooh, um, anyone good. who wants to take a short rest while this is happening can, but that means you cannot look for the wreck. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm not... Even Me looking for something would not work. I'll look. Okay. I will look for the wreck. Thirteen. Uh, Danica gets a thirteen. Danica, you Ooh, look girl. down oh. into the water, and you're like, oh. <laughs> "There's all the net twenties." Danica <laughs> thinks she sees something like a shadowy shape down there, uh, and Molo and and Rain are like, "Yeah, that's definitely a boat. Like, this is." We're literally right on top of it. I studied the maps um, that they sent, and I did research on what shipwreck should look like, and I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, Reyna is uh, familiar with the name of the ship, its crew manifest, what it was carrying uh, when yeah. it went down. I was just looking for all the dead seamen. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, see you no are. dead seamen. <laughs> that's a shame. <laughs> Oh, actually, I have to take you guys out of initiative because we're going to a new map, and it keeps your initiative on the map. Yeah. So. Hey, Reyna, do me a favor. Damn. You see the shipwreck, throw my anchor it. right on top of it. So, so after we people finish the rest, we uh, we drinking the potions and heading down. Yep. Did we find it? Yeah. 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 Right. Trixus, grab the anchor, drop it directly on the shipwreck. Maybe we'll take out a hogan or two inside. Oh, I throw it as hard as I can straight where the shipwreck was pointed out to me. Um, you know what? I'm just going to make a straight up luck check here. Yeah. Actually, you do it. You make it. Oh. Um, anyway, uh, so Molo and uh, Molo and Reyna, you're looking down and you can see several sharks so just circling around. Uh, it looks like when the ship went down, it broke in half. And you can see some sharks. You don't see any Sahagin, but you see several sharks just kind of swimming around where that break is uh, in a pattern that doesn't make a lot of sense for a uh, for a shark that's behaving naturally. So I'm going to put you guys on this map. Uh, we're sharks. I hate sharks. And the anchor that Crixus throws... Looks like it's going to hit one of them, but then at the last minute, it ducks out of the way. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, no. Them in the best time to get in that 20. Like, yeah, you just crushed everything. Hmm. So I'm going to activate this map, but this is where we're going to call it for the day since mm -hmm. we're right at time. Mm -hmm. And this is what you guys see. Oh, it's only cool. three sharks. It's not that bad. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it's fine. fine. Yeah, totally fine. Just three sharks. We yeah, learned to focus on the swagger. There's definitely not an abyssal chasm just right here next to us or anything. Yeah, I mean, what could be down there? Nothing, surely. Surely. Release the kraken. Uh, <laughs> all right, you see these sharks. Um, do you guys want to roll initiative right now, or do you want to do it at the start of the game next week? I would say next, next time. Yeah. Okay, we'll just deal with it next time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you guys have found, yeah. presumably, where their little base of operations is. Awesome. Hell yeah. Sweet. About to go to a minor league baseball game now. Could nice. Go well. 